Strahd von Sarovich, who is the vampire lord of this land of Barovia. Now, party knows that Barovia is sort of a demiplane like area um, in the Shadowfell, uh, though completely separated from the rest of the Shadowfell, in which souls can never leave when they are trapped. So um, they have recovered a number of powerful artifacts, made some allies, and at the moment are far beneath Castle Ravenloft, searching with Casimir, a, a wizard ally of theirs, to find um, a tomb where he thinks his sister lies. His, he has accepted a dark gift to gain the power of resurrection and hopes to find his way there with the party's help. Um, Last session, the party got there. There was a slight um, accident with an elevator in which Cyvor took um, a lot of concrete to the face. Not concrete, but, you know, solid granite. And um, you guys fought some torture victims or the um, reanimated corpses of what seemed to be former torture victims. You now stand in um, a little higher than knee-deep water. Akantha, it's about chin-deep for you. It is brackish. There is a a horrid smell of decay sort of wafting up from it and um, mingled under your feet and some sticking out of the water itself, like, um, uh, like dire icebergs in a sea of woe are many uh, uh, broken, rusted torture instruments. So I don't know. We get mad props for the sentence dire icebergs in a sea of woe. That sounds like a My Chemical song. It's like my new favorite thing. (laughs) It's not going to be, it's not going to be boot slapping fish man or whatever. (laughs) (laughs) No, that is the the traditional Barovian. It was my greatest contribution to last session. (laughs) Fish slapping boot man. That's the Fish slapping boot man. I would like to add something feeling good. This is a serious campaign, guys. (laughs) <laughs> Strahd. Right. Strahd. <laughs> All right, so the party did that. I believe that um, uh, while well, the rest of you finished fighting, um, Deswaldo had gone up to chase the figure of uh, Strahd himself, who mm-hmm. showed himself on the other side of the curtain to slow clap your victory <laughs> over the undead here. And so that is where we... I'm- I'm going to immediately take wing. Uh, Cyborg is going to fly over to a Akantha and make sure she doesn't have to like wade neck deep up through the brackish water. Gotcha. Take her and put her up on the um, the dais. So he okay. walked through the wall. He did. I'm going to go out that door. What? Oh, for goodness gracious! Okay. okay. <sighs> Stealthily. Gotcha. 17. So you guys come up and you see um, let's see you there's a curtain there um, and that's about it. Just Waldo as you move to the other side of the room you um, carefully open and I think probably close the door behind you and you see there um, just looking over the corner of his shoulder completely aware of your presence is um, Strahd von Sarovich. He has noticed your entry. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. DM, how tall is the uh, platform that... Uh... Um, it extends 10 feet up. If really okay. five. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> good start, good start. Brand. All right, guys. Um, for a moment here, I'm going to ask that all players involved here Please take your headphones off. Shit. Good luck. I can't. Why not? <laughs> Gate, how do I turn mine off? If I take if I take these out of my ear, it shuts down the sound, so then no one hears anything. You want me to just? I can leave the room, and then somebody Discord me to come back. I got you. Who who who's the conversation with? It's with me. It, or with you? I guess. Yeah. Okay, I need a drink anyway, so. Yeah, I can't. Same, BRB. I can't turn mine good? off at the moment. Figure it out, figure out a way, Jade. 
Hang on. If I take these off. Oh. <clears throat> Uh, can okay, I see my Twitch hear us? In. Is everything, can Twitch still hear us? I think so. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Alias Prime says liar. <laughs> yeah, gotcha. We're fine. Good. All right. So, Strad von Sarovich turns and says, Brave of you to chase me. What is it you want? Well, who says I want anything? Maybe I'm just here to kill you. Hmm. You know you would have no chance. Ah, uh, yes. I sense a question on your mind. But I think... Hmm. Ask it now. You are charmed by him, and you regard him as a close confidant. Very well. Um... Moment. It occurs to me that eventually we are going to encounter you in an adversarial position, more than we are currently are. And I think your companions will be here any moment. Please cut to the chase. Ah, well, you should probably lock that door then. Done. He does I... not move, and you hear a slight clicking I, uh... sound. I'd like to make a deal. I think I could. I see. Um, I see this wizard with us, and I see uh, these other spellcasters. And I don't like being under their power. I want it for myself. So, if I offer to, I don't know, give you something that you want, will you give me what I want? Power, and maybe I don't know the control over the Vistani. And, um, oh, and that Aragal, I'd like his head. And in return, I will give you the holy the symbol, symbol of, Ravenkind. of Ravenkind. Yes, that is absolutely right. What I, want to do. I can make that happen. I will need, uh, I will need something. I think uh, maybe some sort you of... You will lights. have it. Ah, good, fair enough. If uh, that is... Oh, that needs to be said. Um, maybe some sort of, uh, I don't know, wound to justify why we've had this conversation. You consent. Yeah, just don't turn me into one of those spawn things. Hmm. And he strides forward and you... Um, he begins to cast a spell. They'll be here soon, I am sure. And you hear, and then um, he looks you straight in the eye, and then and um, bites you. Fuck. Okay. What spell did he cast? Scream for me, Jeswalo. All right, everyone. What the is heck it, just happened? I'm so I just hear a um, very intense scream come uh, from the doors. Gosh, shit. Okay. Uh, Cyber, help me up. Long... Cyber, help me up. <laughs> <laughs> so, can we presume while that conversation was happening that I was at least aiding anyone who was nearby the wall up? Yeah. Uh, okay. So we will, uh, you first hear um, the, you know, for a moment as you are ferrying people up there, you can tell that this, um, he has disappeared behind whatever door is here. All right. Um, Do we need to make checks? There was a rope that got brought up there. I, I, pulled, I pulled it up behind me because I didn't want anything following, but. Yeah, uh, that's what I remember. That's but it, right. It was there, you but did. It's not. Where's my damage coming here? So can we not get up there? Huh. Well, I was hoping Cypher might be able to give me you a have hand or a wing. Quickly, please. <laughs> yeah, so jump, jump, I'm, uh, So I'm assuming that it's like Claire, myself, and Akantha who are on top of that 
that pillar when we hear the scream go off. And uh, that on, is correct. On okay. that assumption, I immediately run into the room. Same. I'm right behind him. Okay. Uh, uh, let's roll right initiative. Oh, oh shit. Oh. 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 Have fun, guys. Do I get to roll initiative? Yeah, you do. Akanta, you can come I up don't here. I have to. I'll, I'll come you're, you, Yeah, you, you're up on the pillar already. Yeah, because I saved you from the brackish water and apparently have sent you now to your death. Yay, team. Oh, hey. hot shit. That was good Bro, initiative. Like, at least, you you know, you're going to death as a team, as a unit. That's right. If, if we're all going to die, we're all going to die. Not just, I don't, what happened? Okay, here we go. All right, all right. Oh. Grave oh. miscalculation. Oh god. Nice job, I don't Sean. Like that. Oh, no. <laughs> Never that. follow the big bad into a room alone. <laughs> yeah. That's Just face through a wall. What's the worst that can happen? Uh death. <laughs> Pixie says you have a hickey. <laughs> um <laughs> Let's see here. Mmm, tasty. Yum. Scratching that. All right. Von Sorry. Sorry, I didn't necessarily expect the um, <laughs> chase uh, Strahd into the next room um, play. So I'm a little slow getting things going here. I apologize. You're talking to the team that was almost killed by a bridge and then also an elevator. So, like, we're the really. The team. Good. And one of us died. Oh, my God. I, I was wondering how me. quickly that was going to come up. It was me. <laughs> Lest we forget. I'm sorry, what's the timestamp right now? What are we at? <laughs> uh, and at exactly 6.43. And I was like, 6 Everyone, by the way, everyone can roll initiative, because... Akanta, put your little token up here with me. Okay, I'm yeah. coming! Okay, I rolled a 19. How did you get up there? Cyborg so flew I... her up there, and then he helped me up while you were chatting. Yeah, when, when DM described that Akantha would be up to her neck in the brackish water, I'm like, that's not yep. nice. That's not. Aww. So gross. Okay. Um, new computer, so my things are not inter interwoven together yet, but it's a 19 for my initiative. Why is there a tiny Liz on the board? <laughs> I know She's there always so tiny. Oh, tiny. I don't know Liz. how to fix Whoever it. Whoever knows. Well, <laughs> you, oh, oh, I deleted yours. Johnny. What was your initiative again, Maris? Oh 20. my god. Oh my god. It All was right. 20. Gotcha. Thanks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You are a ray of sunshine in my life. <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> you too. So, all right, who's not on here right now? Akantha with a 19. Mm -hmm. And I think that's it. Wow, we um, really Cyborg, high. what was your initiative? Uh, my initiative was a 16. Did I not? I didn't on the board? really get on. Uh, token Did might not ever... have been selected, but that's okay. Oh, I'm a bad kid. Um, <laughs> Athel Flood, you hear just Waldo scream from the other room. Oh, no. Do we have some music for me to die to? It's, I can hear There's it. Guess... Explain. You just can't hear it because you're yeah. probably already dead. Because I'm dying. You're already yeah, dead. dead. Yeah. Get inside. Um, there it is. Uh, There's even a choir singing for you, just Waldo. Uh, <laughs> no. Uh, how high up is the guys again? They the the ledge. Um, it is ten feet. So, just Waldo. By the way. Um, <laughs> Uh, for the first part of that, you took um, uh, six points of piercing damage and ten points of necrotic. You know the drill with the necrotic. Yes. I um, will um, uncanny dodge the necrotic. Okay. So that's got it. Oh my, oh my God. Sorry, I just realized you were fighting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really yeah. digging the music though. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna reload because I wanna hear it. 
All right, yeah. Athelflaed, you are the first up. Yeah, did you, did sorry, you if you asked me a question, I was trying to field some other stuff here, so. Yeah, it was just, just the height for the, yeah. for the ledge feet. that I can't say. Um, it's difficult that... terrain to get to here, but I also imagine that if you guys would like to start more closer to the middle of this room, that when all of this happened, when that first conversation was happening, you probably would have shuffled into the room. Shuffle, so shuffle. if you'd like to start your turn, from closer in, um, that's fine. Like, here closer in? Like a, consider it 10 feet to the balcony, to the, um, well. To the thing. Dais, I guess. Dais. Or, um, it is a balcony, I guess. Yeah. It's 10 feet. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, so that takes me to 10 feet. Um, yeah. So the closest that I can get is right on the other side of the curtain, right where okay. everybody is. It is difficult terrain, and you also can, um, it will be, uh, I will say that um, that climb is not particularly difficult, but it will cost you difficult terrain. So the move to it will cost you, t um, is difficult terrain, and the move up is difficult terrain. So 20 feet. That'd so, be about 50 feet where you're going, so. So can I dash and get double? Yeah, 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 of course. Then that's that's what I would like to do. All right, so get you dash cool. over there. Um, dash. Um, you meet Sivor and Claire and Akantha who would have just passed to the other side of the curtain as well. Um, they stand in front of an iron door, which is closed. Mm -hmm. Anything else for your turn? Not this time. Elimus. Okay. Um, is he is the door locked? I'm assuming. DM. You're halfway across Sorry. the room, dude. Uh, is the DM locked? Is it DM? Is the door locked? <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am locked. Um, You're locked to me. Okay. It is. Um, part of what happened when they all tried to rush forward when we hit initiative, they saw that the door was quite stuck. Oh, okay. Um, I will. It's behind a curtain on the other side of the um, so of the room. I can there. see the million around behind the curtain. Okay. Uh, I... You could have seen them go there, yeah. but um, they're it's hard to see them now. I will put my hand into a fist and speak into the ring. Angelus in Alice Fole. And then I will place a hand on Meris's shoulder mm -hmm. and cast fly at fourth level. Cool. Which I saved from the previous day into the ring. And then I will fly 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 to there. You have a 60 foot fly speed with the spell, by the way. Oh, okay. I know D&D. &D. <laughs> uh, I will stay there. <laughs> to be completely honest, when I um, when I read that just now, I went, oh, really? <laughs> so, um, you know, you are reminded of things every day. Claire, you're up. So did I hear you right that this door is locked or stuck in some um, way? If you try to turn it, it seems yeah. to be, um, it seems to be locked, yes. Um, oof, I'm not confident in my ability to, oh no, I, I might be able to boop that down. Uh, do you want a, an athletics check to try to ram that down or? To force uh, it, just to, f an act of pure strength is going to require a strength check. Oh, that's, mm, <laughs> that's not gonna go. Can I attack the door? Um, you can try. Okay. <laughs> that's probably gonna go better for me. Probably. Oh, 19. That's not bad. Uh, 19 will hit the door. Okay. Um, nine radiant damage. <laughs> that was the door resistant to radiant damage. Um, it is not. Oh, hot shit. Nine radiant damage. Literally. Okay. Mm, got it. Um, Anything else? I'll attack again. Because I can do that a couple times. How's a 15? 15 will hit. Okay. 
can do better. 11 radiant damage. Okay. It is, um, um, <laughs> I'm thinking of the scene from episode one. Where yes! Like car- yes! Carving through <laughs> that the is the exactly what I want to be doing. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm like hammering into this door You're with not my. Not going to survive this. <laughs> going out the door with my sword and being like, "Just Waldo, you bastard! What did you do?" <laughs> That's the end of my turn. Help! I'm trying. Maris. Okay, so Maris will take as much movement as she can to get to her comrades. So I could probably get not... You have a 60-foot fly speed right now. So. Oh my god, I can go land right next to Anyone. any of those people. Fly well, into the door. Just... Oh my god, so fun. Well, thanks, Jade. Um, so what I would like to do is go fly over next to my best girl, Claire. Boop. And I'll ask her about the door <laughs> to verify that it is still. <laughs> un- I assume it is still not. It's still standing, I'm assuming. Yeah. Okay. It is, yes. Okay. How does it look like I did anything to it, by the way? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you, you think. Sort of um, melty and gross. A couple more swings, you could probably okay. get through it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, and so uh, Maris would like to cast beep, boop, bop. She'll cast Scorching Ray on the door. Oh, all right. Go ahead and make we'll those three attacks. How that goes. Twenty-one. Ooh, that's a unfortunate damage amount. <laughs> I know, but... right? Um, and then, good grief, she's doing her best. Bless her. Uh, all will hit, and will come. Oh boy, Kanta's rolling a bunch of strength checks. Uh, for a total of. What we got? Fourteen fire. Uh, yes. Gotcha. Um, with that, um, it seems like the hinges are beginning to melt. It is starting to look, um, uh, very rough. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Akanta, now it is your turn. No. Okay. I hate new setups. Okay, so I don't want to attack Strahd and die. <laughs> that thought never occurred to me. <laughs> Oddly enough. Yeah, we know. Uh, so can can he see me? Uh, I'm still behind. I'm still behind the door, right? Uh, yes, that is correct. Okay. So I would just run to the door. Nope. She's under me. <laughs> <laughs> just run right between your legs. Hey! <laughs> um. Startling. <laughs> My spell list. Sorry, I'm trying to speed up. Terrible. You're all good. Um, I have no healing spells, so Akantha would just yell out, Wait, Mr. Strahd, wait! Don't attack him! He didn't mean it! We're supposed to be friends! Oh. Akantha, that's not how this works! (laughs) Anything else? Um, I can use my bonus action to turn into a giant poisonous snake. Okay. Because everyone knows snakes want to be friends with everyone. Especially the poisonous kind. Yeah, yes. the, poisonous. the friendliest animal, actually. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Uh, nope. That's it for now. 
my stats and stuff like that. Okay, so how boned is Joswaldo? <laughs> hmm. Let's see. He will. Um, let's see. Actually, at the end of your turn, he is going to move to this location here. And um, we'll begin whispering under his breath, just while though you will see, and a bright um, red moat of light begins forming in his hands. <laughs> oh, shit. No, 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 no. Everybody, no, no. look out! <laughs> um, That's not good. Cyborg? Did, did you actually scream that just while I don't know if I can. Oh, by the way, am I still charmed? Um, You are. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Keep doing whatever you're doing. Yeah. Excellent. All right, so uh, Cyborg's going to go ahead, and so everyone's kind of beating on the door. I'm going to go ahead and take a strike, just an unarmed strike at the door. Fifteen will hit. Fifteen hits. Let's do roll that magical monk damage. Uh, five bludgeoning. Okay, it is just barely about to come off its hinges. Fan freaking tastic! I'm going to go ahead and hit it again. I'm gonna hit it again. Oh, 14? That's what he was waiting for! 14 will hit. Reaction, or prep, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. For nine <laughs> bludgeoning prep, damage. I, I can't talk anymore. And as you kick <laughs> open the door, you see the <laughs> spell be released. Counter I need spell? everyone to make. Alimus? Do you, uh, he's behind the curtain. I'm behind the curtain. Oh shit! Damn it! Just Waldo turns around, sort of looks at you as you come in. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear anyone at the door. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, oh, um, God. everyone needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Do I um, get plus it? four? Plus four if you're within ten feet of me. Do I get? And you know I am. Behind being behind the curtain. <laughs> do I get any pluses? Um, it, against some spells, perhaps, but nice you, as fled. you know, yeah, um, yeah. Fled. it is the sort yes, of everybody. epitome of indiscriminate. So that is a 17 for me. 14 for four. me. 25 for me. 27. Or 29, actually. No, 27. no 25. Seven I don't four. get my own bonus again. <laughs> Gotcha. Goodbye, everyone. But I love like that you tried. All right, friends. Um, 18 <laughs> is the number to beat. I think Fuck. I'm dead again. Good. Um, those of you who failed are. Ooh. 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 Um, 23 points of fire damage. Half if you beat the 18. No. Wait, or so meant to be 18. So the 23 evasion. was the full? Is the full. Yeah. And then down to 12. Correct. Oh. Oh. Waldo, you can make another wisdom that. saving throw. I'm evasioning that to 12 points. How did you fail? I will evasion that as well to zero. Very nice. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Come on, baby. Now, uh, DM, my turn wasn't Roll. over. Oh. 10? But you, the reaction was the shot, so gotcha. I still have my yeah. bonus action. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And movement. And and movement. Yeah. All just, right. So while so, was attacked, does that mean he gets advantage on saves versus charm? I don't know. It's not. Oh, 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 wait. I get to add four to that because of uh, Claire. So that's a 14. Is it save? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Why would you do that? <clears throat> I mean, all right. So we got. I suppose I understand, but it's still quite rude. <laughs> Your own tricks being used against you, Jezwaldo. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to so uh, took like 20 feet of my movement to like 
basically bust out of the fireball that just shot at me. Yeah. Use my bonus action to flurry of blows against. Okay. Strat. First one is a hmm, fail. <laughs> <laughs> Big old fail. Uh, he turns at you and smiles. And the second shot is an 18. 18 will hit. Yes. What? Yay, first I'm blood on Strad. And I. Oh, yeah, baby, with a 10. Magical. So he stands damage. there <laughs> looking at you. And as this magical bludgeoning damage goes across his jaw, you see it break and dislocate slightly. And then it snaps right back in place and his grin deepens. He has taken no damage from your attack. What? Uh, damn, is an 18 constitution save good enough to hold my concentration? Uh, yes. Okay. First, the paltry fireball of 23, absolutely. Um, half the damage or 10. So, yeah. well, 10, you know, Whichever is, uh, um, we have dire higher. icebergs and poultry or lower. Got it. I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's a good night for language. Oh, it's a great night. It's a grand night, oh, night for first. language. Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> it's the end of Cyvor's turn. That is the end of Cyvor's turn. Gotcha. Um. And. We will go to Jezwaldo. Hey, Cyborg, stop that. I mean, you know, I understand, but this really is uncalled for. I uh, I really oh. must insist, you should stop. And I'm going to go up and, and I'm going to grapple Cyborg and try to pull him away from Strahd. Okay. I mean, he's um, not so bad. I believe Just that will be uh, an athletics check. Indeed. Versus either your athletics or acrobatics, Cyborg. Acrobatics, it will be. No way I succeeded this. <laughs> you did. Oh, holy crap! Oh, no. yes. All right. Just Waldo has managed to grab onto your wrist before you can um, reach out to resist. Hmm. What, what are you doing? It's going to be fine. There's, no, there's it's just not a fine. Big, oh, I just ran big, through a fireball. It's a huge misunderstanding. It's right, right. I mean, this guy. <laughs> Just Waldo, in the history of this world, that is the bad guy. Well, you just need a different perspective. Do you drag him away from Strahd? To, uh, if I am provoke, able to. If I am able to. I believe you can uh, drag him by using half your movement. Um, then I will do so. What? No! He, you didn't actually move on difficult the Difficult terrain. Board. Oh, yeah, all right, so, uh, so. so that's five, and then... What is on the center here, Peter? Is that passable terrain? Oh, good question. Um, I was actually just going to bring that up. Uh, no, this is a large um, altar is oh. really what it looks like. All right. So I will go around the altar and I will grab. So that's five. And then I will move five, 10, 15, 20. Is it difficult to rain? So I use my action and I will bonus action. Keep moving. And so I'm going to move him completely out of the door. Just okay. Drag and pull him back. I'm, gonna come back and hit you I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, uh, Count. Um, it's it's no problem. I'll, I'll, I will explain everything to everybody. It's it's not it's going to be an issue. Um, Casimir will use his action to cast fly on himself to catch up. Uh, assuming you're done, just well, though. I am uh, done. Yes. Okay. That will bring us to Athelflaed's turn. He now stand. He now. Um, takes a step. He's Before kind of circling that. this altar, looking at you, and uh, his hands are clasped calmly behind his back, a bit of Jeswaldo's blood running out of the corner of his mouth as he calmly wipes it away. What's up, Jade? Meanwhile, thanks to our patron, Pixie, we can all get <gasps> to roll for inspiration. Thank you very much, Pixie. Oh God. Yay, Pixie! That's, this is Ooh. a D20 inspiration, so if you have already got it, you don't need to roll. 
Can I Ooh. forego my rolling to prevent Peter from rolling his? Is that? Yeah. <laughs> um, th this time is actually the lowest because obviously we've been so crap. Oh, um, Chael got it. Chael got a twenty. Ooh. Oh. Jail. Hey, Jail. I, I, said, I said the lowest. Jail, yeah. Yeah. No, it's not the lowest. It's the highest. Don't change the rules. God, we cheat. We okay, yeah. Chelsea, Chelsea wins it. Thank you very much, Pixie. Yay. Yay. Pixie, you may have just saved my life. <laughs> Yay. Cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. cool, cool. All right, Athelflaed, cool, cool, cool. it's your turn now. Okay. I would like to just move slightly so I have a line of and then Hunter's Mark. Okay. On. Yeah. Guys, what if we actually took him out right now? Well, now you're going to Okay, so Hunter's Mark. It's kind of anticlimactic. But also amazing. <laughs> or the other thing, amazing. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. Not, 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 not with a natural those. one. Uh, no. <laughs> just, 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 I find you jinxed it. Oh, <laughs> yep, oh something's pretty be, amazing right now. It was going to be great, and then y'all jinxed it. Oh, I blame y'all, and it's not my fault. Fair <laughs> enough. I already, I already rolled a nat 20 earlier. <laughs> 22 will hit, however. Go ahead and roll your damage. Hey. So then eight, and then plus the hunter's mark. Okay, which was... Three more damage? Uh, it is three. Yeah, three. Okay. This arrow sinks into him and he calmly removes it, looks at it, and there is actually a large um, brazier in the middle of this altar, burning fire, and he just casually tosses the arrow into the fire. You see no piercing mark left on his body. He has taken no damage. Okay. This, how? Somebody get that paladin in there. I've tried. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Okay. Anything else from Athelflaed? Nope. Elimus. Just look at him. You smug asshole. And then I will... You're behind a curtain. You can't look at anything. The, I, think, oh, I guess the curtain. I think the away. curtain yeah. might. I mean, there yeah. might be a little bit of curtain there. We'll call the curtain <laughs> annihilated. If the curtain's uh, the still there, I'm having my damage back. Right? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> he will look at him and say, "You smug bastard." He will land on. Obviously, I'm not flying at the moment. Anyway, fly drops, and he will pull out ten gold pieces, throw them in the air, and whisper the words, "Animatis nemorosis." And they will turn into little silver daggers, and then all of a sudden, ten of them will just go flying towards him. Ooh, Ooh that's cool. Is that animate object? It is indeed. Very it's an cool. excellent that's spell. Cool. Dead, dead, dead. Where is it? Cast. Uh, uh, I think they're plus four to hit. So oh, we'll have to do. Uh, what they'd be plus eight. Spell. Hmm. The, uh, they're they're eight. tiny objects, so. Yep. They plus eight, are they? Yeah. So you see that little plus eight on the spell right there? Yep. Ten to eight. If you click that ten times, that'll be your tax. Oh. Mm. Oh, okay. Well, I've just done this instead. There we go. I like the sound of click that ten times. That's impressive. Well, that's... Okay. Th that's sure. one way to do it. <laughs> that... Woo! That's going to be harder to think about, but it will also work. <laughs> is, it, is that right? I can't count. Oh, I'll, just uh, do, I'll do the other one. I can't uh, calculate that. You have. No, it's up to you. Let's. We can figure it out from that. Oh, They're just, all plus eight, right? It, it's, no, I don't think it's done it. Uh, okay, right. So the, it's just tiny items plus eight. They weren't eight, all yeah. plus eight. Yeah. Well, it's the first one. Hey, just roll ten of them and we'll just keep going. Two. Yeah. One, two. Three. Oh, so close four, to crit. Five. Ooh. Ooh. Six. That's going to be a miss. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. How many hit? 
Uh, one, two. Four of them missed. Four of them missed. Okay, and one's a crit. You can't do the damage on this one, though. Uh, go up, and you see we're also on your spell where it says 1d4 plus 4. Yeah, I was hoping we'll to click obviously on have the to thing. Crit, we'll have to do the crit separately. Right, but, we'll so. do the crit last, then. So, one. Yep. So, one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And then a lot. I'll just roll extra damage. This one will be a crit, then. Yep, so rolling up, then roll just a straight d4. Or we'll just use the d4 from that, which is a 2. So I'm going to have 8, <clears throat> 14, 20, 27, 35, 42, 47 points of damage from that spell. Woo! Yes. Good one. <clears throat> Will it do anything, though? Yes. Yeah. The and? They're all magical damage, so. Mm hmm. So, so were all the other attacks. But as they doom, 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 all pierce, what looked to be pierced into him, almost like a um, heroic scene where, you know, the hero is getting pelted with bullets. Um, he shreds, uh, um, uh, he shrugs it off, takes a coin, admires his own face in it. And then he cocks his head and you hear this sort of sound emanating from the stones above you. And Wait. he admires his face on the coin for one second more, rolls it between his fingers, and tosses it back your direction. He seems completely unharmed. Fuck. But you hear this beating <laughs> coming what? from above. Dang. Fuck is that? And he looks at the end. Uh, anything else on your turn, Alimus? Um. Nope. The end of your turn, he will turn and look at Claire. I'm proud of you. But not today. <clears throat> and he will walk here. He will step on the door and his body will completely turn sideways and he will walk up the side of the door glance one more over you, once more over your shoulder give a toothy grin and he walks through the ceiling is that a legendary action damn just want to make sure that wasn't that wasn't his turn it is now claire's turn got it okay okay so has he disappeared or he's just up on the wall he has walked through the ceiling and you can wow. no longer see him. Are we still on initiative order then? Um, we can drop it. Okay. Um, as soon as he does that, I like run part way into the room with my sword. Like I'm like, fuck shit. And then I wheel around and look at Jiswaldo. Do not run off like that again. Okay. No problem. Did he Mer bite you? Um. Yes, actually. Fuck. I hope it hurt. Maris is not far behind Claire and has also run to check on Jeswaldo. Well, he's over back in here now. <sighs> These daggers come back to me, Peter, and they start rotating, hovering around my head, around my whole body. Well, Lemus, you can have as many gold coins from me as you want if you're going to do that trick again. I'm assuming cool. he's gone. Yeah. I'll click my yeah. finger. Char Am I still charmed to DM? <laughs> um, you. It, it's up to you how you act in the moment, but um, yes. You okay. are not possessed or anything, but you. Um, his. Uh, he seems like His a really nice guy. Still stand. Got it. Uh, I mean, I appreciate everyone coming to help me, but I, I think it was really going to be fine. I, uh, much, much nicer once you get to know him than uh, 
than I was expecting personally. Um, you know, for, you... for a vampire. I mean, he's definitely what? the nicest. Think of the vampires we've met, and that guy is, I mean, just so much better on Penis. every level. Penis 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 are you? Hey, Charmin. Can I tell he's charmed? Um, make a arcana check. With advantage. <laughs> oh, thank God for that. <laughs> and then he was a natural one. 28. Oh. Um something um uh it seems absolutely like a vampire charm we're gonna be out of resources before we even get a chance to fight him i place my hand on jeswaldo's shoulder and whisper the words magicia lucius adus and come before you use before you use the spell slot with yep. as high of an arcana roll as you got um, oh, we lost Chael. We lost Chael. But, um, you second? would know Shit. that a vampire's charm is not a uh, is not a valid target for oh, your dispel okay. magic. Right. Okay. Uh, you you still say the words; they just don't echo. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll just say you're still charmed. However, is he um, like, f for all intents and purposes, still making saves against this? Um, I, um, you know, when I, I will call for a save when a um, situation comes for it, so. Okay, I, I was kind of curious, because I, in that case, I'm gonna, well, first I'm gonna walk up straight into his face, and just, do not do that again. Oh, you got it. I, that was, I know, I'm sorry. I won't do that again. Is there anything I can do for you, Jaswaldo? I am very badly wounded, actually. Yeah, I mean, I I had gathered, and I so Maris, yes, is going to cast mass healing word, so she can help out multiple buddies. I don't know if that's the best spell to use. I well, don't know either, but it's prayer just of like healing. If you've got ten minutes, prayer of healing. I mean, that's the, the thing is like, do we have ten minutes? <laughs> I mean. If it's going to save lives, then yes. The Limus is right. Great. Where we Perfect. Serve. Yeah, I then took big damage. Sorry, there. I uh, I sent you a message on... I sent, I sent you a message on Discord. Uh, <laughs> Discord, Sean. Um, okay. And I forgot to hit send before. Got so, it. But it's there. Okay. So. Well, then I will cast Prayer of Healing. Okay. So you guys take the time to do that. That is a... Um, yeah. 10 feet... And is the maximum distance you go away from me. Got it? Got it. Someone help me. So, a little bit more about this room. 16 back. Um, as you guys sit around there, Maris begins her prayer. Um, it's 30 feet square, and there is a um, 20 foot tall flat ceiling here. In the center, there is this stone brazier burning fiercely. Um, it's a tall white flame, but as you guys have gotten closer, you notice that it does not produce any heat. The rim of the brazier is carved with a seven, um, with seven cup-shaped indentations spaced evenly around the circumference. Within each indentation is a spherical stone, twice the diameter of a human eyeball and made of colored crystal. No two stones are the same color. Overhead, a wood-framed hourglass as tall and wide as a dwarf hangs 10 feet above it, above the brazier, suspended from the ceiling by thick iron chains. All the sand is stuck in the upper portion of the hourglass, seemingly unable to run down to the bottom. Written in glowing script on the base of the hourglass is a verse in common. Um, I will read that in a moment, but you also notice on each side, two nine foot tall iron statues of knights on horseback, poised to charge or poised to charge with swords drawn, stand in the deep alcoves facing each other. Uh, the alcoves face each other. Anyway, that is what you see here. While um, Maris is doing a prayer of healing for 10 minutes, can I cast a tet of magic? 
Uh, you may. I do so. All right. Anyone else um, doing anything? Uh, Snake Acantha is going to slither over to who's next to me. Uh, Cyvor, and she's just going to crawl up and then slither and kind of just sort of chill on his arm. All right. Nice arm bound, Cyvor. <laughs> it, it tickles. I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm okay. I reach over and give give little Snack like a little tickle on the head. Oh, the snake snack? Snack snack, yes. Snake snack needs some healing too. So. Yup. <laughs> well, we all get this. Yeah, you all get it. So. Yeah, so that, so that 16 goes to everybody? Yeah, that 16 goes to everyone. Everybody. Ooh. Power of friendship. <laughs> the power of friendship. <laughs> the little 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 snake will just wink at Maris. Maris wings back. <laughs> All right. So Casimir has gone into this other room. Yes. Yeah, and um, he has entered the one that Strahd disappeared from. Okay. Um, and is looking around. There's a yes. verse. There's a verse here written mm. on the brazier. It says, "Cast a stone into the fire. Violet leads to the mountain spire. Orange to the castle's peak. Red, if lore, is what you seek. Green, to where the coffins hide." Indigo to the master's bride. Blue to ancient magic's womb. Yellow to the master's tomb. It, it's transport. Seems like it. Okay. What? Claire, why couldn't we hurt him? I'm honestly not sure. I literally, I saw his jaw dislocate, and like, it didn't even matter. Well, when we know he's think, insanely powerful. Makes you think, doesn't it? Maybe this is a bad idea. Maybe we should uh, try a different method. Did you, I, I'm it, just it, saying. Ignoring Jezwaldo right now. Hey, I am speaking. I, I, I don't need to talk to you right now. I mean, Cyborg, I've never been able to cause any damage to the... My very first day in Barovia, he attacked us, and, well, he was there during a, an attack, and I hit him several times and never, and never phased him at all. Back so then, your weapons we weren't magical either. But I, I'm not surprised that we can't damage him in his home. What about the, the, the thumping that we heard? Did you all hear that? No I did. Idea. That was odd. Was it, uh, the, was the thumping, did it seem like it was a direct result is, of damage taken? It grew in to great intensity with Jade's spell, and you still hear it slightly coming from a, somewhere far above you. It, the closest way to describe it, it sounds like an enormous beating heart thrumming somewhere high above the castle. Or at least above you. You don't know if it's above the castle or in the castle somewhere, but do we think high above that, you? Obviously, it sounds like a heartbeat. Yeah. Do we think? Can we put together that maybe that's like a his pool of health or something, and that's why he left? Is there any check Some... I can do, Arcana or I mean, religion? I don't know. Um, Arcana or religion, you can. Arcana as it is then. Would anyone like to aid me in a Arcana? I will absolutely I'll help. Aid you. Are you you're proficient, uh, yeah? No, I am proficient. Cool. I will Nineteen. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um 
the closest thing you can think of is to that would be similar to a lich's phylactery but um, yeah that's what i'm thinking yeah but that Thanks. doesn't work that way that's more of a you know yeah something to regenerate from yeah from death so you it's it's tough to say though with that high of an arcana check you imagine that it could be possible something like that um especially considering the fact um that for instance you heard his voice from miles away when you led um irina into the pool and took his you know oh, prize just... away from him he is tied to this land in a great way so uh, that he could have magic that is beyond your understanding is not um so could this be a sacrilegium uh, uh, is there spells like that in Rifle. D&D? Oh, oh a uh, simulacrum. Si- simulacrum, that's it, sorry. Yeah. Um, That would not explain him not taking damage. No. Because a simulacrum is just a copy of a person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, a weak really. copy, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. <sighs> so what I'm hearing you say is that there's possibly some external magical force that is affecting his his life, his protection. Eh? It's the gods trying to tell us we shouldn't hurt him. Uh-huh, no, I, yeah. I don't it, think yeah. that's it. Does it okay. his physical form doesn't matter that the, his, his, it, like the lich, it's, their energy comes or is trapped in a separate thing away from them. So that way people don't think to destroy them but it's, it's the item that they're looking for. But regardless of all of that, aren't, aren't we supposed to be trying to find somebody in the tombs? We're looking for several, t- well, yes, we're looking for the sister. We did already find the dragon skull. Do um, you think the, the, the stone that says go to the tomb is the right one? No. Does my magic spell go off by this point? It does. Um, Maybe so coffin's hide. now you, um, your detect magic spell goes off and besides the things that you're accustomed to, you see a few pings around you from your al- you know, your allies, they, they're all bedecked in magic items. Yeah, you and you them. look at this, um, you, you do sense a, uh, magic, um, intense magic coming from this. Uh, altar with brazier and the individual stones themselves. Um, the school of magic is conjuration. Well, if we want to go to the tomb, I'd say the yellow is the right one, right? I yeah. Don't... Well, that's the master's tomb. The master must be Strahd. Well, Strahd would be the master. Yeah. And we well, can hurt him as he is with his, his tomb is probably where the other things are. That's what I was no, going to say. They all be in the same. What about green place? to where the coffins hide? Oh, that's a good one too. What about blue to ancient magic, and maybe we could weaken his magic so we could actually damage him? Hmm. But I thought we had a specific mission. I we mean, uh, here our specific mission was to find the skull and to find Casimir's sister. Given how dangerous this place is, I don't think we should stray too far from our intended goals here. Claire is absolutely right. Why are you agreeing with me again? Um, it feels like the right thing to do. Okay, you're weird. So where are we headed? Don't have time for that. Um, actually, before we try chucking stones into fire, um, we should probably check out what these doors do. Or rather, where they go, since doors tend to just, you know, open and close. Okay. Oh, by the way, did you see him walk through the walls? That means he could literally be right up there, or right down there, or over yep. there, anywhere. Yeah, we yes, all, he can we be all anywhere. Got it. Why don't you um, ask him as you're such good friends? Well, you all chased him off. I was just about to. He literally threw a fireball at us. I have the singed hair to prove it. But we're all all right. I mean, really, what's one fireball amongst friends? Uh, we're not. Yeah. Okay. 
Death oh, is well done. Uh, just well done. <laughs> Alimus, um, can you and uh, take your eagle eyes and go take a peek at those doors so I don't actually accidentally get eaten again? I will do. I will go and study the doors and check for traps and stuff. Okay. If anyone wishes to help. Sounds Roll an investigation check. We'll loop all three of them together. Does anyone help? <clears throat> I can help. I don't know how much help I'll be, but I can. Are you proficient in investigation? <laughs> I'm not actively I, proficient. Ethel Flat is. I, I, I am. Okay. I, was, I will help you. Thank you. Who is this? Let's see how bad I can roll. Oh my god. Dirty 20 at least. Nice. Natural um, one and a dirty 20. Untrapped. Um... They look like they are not doors that would be normally locked, but as you examine them, you find they're untrapped and you try to open them. They do not move. They seem to be sealed magically somehow. Did Detect Magic pick anything up on the doors? Um, that's a good point. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. As you come over, you do sense a... Um, sort of aura of uh, abjuration magic on them. On all of them? On the three of them. And on the um, melted slags of this door that you guys broke through. Claire, Sival, you're up. Huh? Same door as that one you bashed down. Oh, do you just want me to go Wait, out do it again? Have a door that needs to be opened. You can try it if you like. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, uh, interesting. Okay. Um, before that happens, just Waldo takes a step and then just does a weave or something, and then throws up all over the floor. Just oh god, falls down oh, to god. a knee. Just like. Uh, wow. uh, Are you okay? Maris runs to Jeswaldo. No. no, he's not okay. He just—I, uh, I am now. I am, uh, apologize that. Can I help you up? Uh, I'm fine now. Please. Oh. Do you want some wine? No, no. I was, um, I was really dumb. I apologize, everyone, and. Uh, Apparently, he's done with me uh, for the moment. Um, welcome back. Yeah. Thank you. Um, don't, don't step right there. Um, and I go over with my um, thieves tools to try and unlock the middle door. Um, so as you get to it, it's easy for you without a check to know that these are magically sealed for the moment. Um, yeah. oh. They do not appear to be locked in any mundane fashion. This will not be helpful. So either I whack at it, or we start tossing stones into fire. Or we go back. We need to be down here. Well, I'm just saying we either do those things. The third choice is to go back the way we came and find another way. I'm nervous if we go back, we're going to run into people who will insist that we go to our guest rooms. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Mm. Okay. So what's the, uh, what's the move, guys? Are you bashing the doors down? Yeah, sure, why not? Step out of the room. Going with that one first? Oh, I'm just stepping out of the room too. Damn it. 14. Let me check something quick. Snake can't. They'll just look at Cyborg and just. Snake shrug? Yeah. That... <laughs> How does a snake shrug? I imagine it's more of a snug. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, it will take good. some time, but you can crush through that door. Savor, sorry and about the uh, 
thing. No need to continue rolling. Um, sorry. No, 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 no. And so while Elena, stairs going Elena, up. While Elena is uh, yeah. doing that, I'll... Sorry, I didn't... Uh, wasn't to myself. I just hope you're okay. You, you don't seem all right. Well, it's been a long few days. I could say the same thing about you. I'm, I'm fine. I mean, I'll be honest, when you see us walking around, do you wonder what our bones might taste like underneath? Who do you think no. is the most tasty? I'm betting Akanta. Is Waldo. I would... I'm not interested in the bones <laughs> of my... You... He walks away from you in a huff. You know, once we all die, it's just there for the taking. You might want to find out if anybody well, is shut okay. Shut up! Okay. Just Waldo. <laughs> Mary. Please stop antagonizing people. Also, what did I say about 10 feet? I'm sorry, right? I'm coming. Maris pats Jeswaldo on the shoulder as he walks by and says, I, it seemed like a fair question. I, I know. Wondered. I know. And then she waves at Cyphor. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, so I revealed a stairwell that goes up? Yes. Hey, that's not the direction we want to be going. Uh, Christ. Uh, I, I'm gonna take a quick gander up the stairwell and just take a peek around the corner, see what's going on over there. Okay. I looked to Cyborg and looked at the door. Um, you don't have dark vision, correct? 120 feet of it. Oh, you do. That's right. This rises, this goes up and continues to rise. About 70 to 100 feet, you would say. Straight up into the darkness. Well, shit. Or ending high above where you are right now. Well, that's not the way we want to go. That just goes up and up and up and up. I mean, Alimus, is there a chance that the... Um, the magic, the teleportation magic of this brazier... Like, is that gonna just affect everyone who's in the room, or do you think that affects, like, a doorway? Because I don't want to keep bashing down doorways if, like, this... Y you have to, like, go through a door after... Bloop! Pew. I have no you know? idea. Great. I wonder if it has to be this fire, or if it could be any fire. In which case, we could just take all of the stones, and whenever we wanted to go someplace, we just... <clears throat> They've got to be thrown into this fire. This it does say the fire. Not a fire. Fair enough. Cast it into the fire. Destroy it! Um, <laughs> how about these other doors, then? No. I've been waiting for I'll try another one. Do it. Cyber, do you want to go at this one? one with me? Yeah. I need to punch some things. Yeah, sounds about right. I got you, kid. Uh, on your first hit, Cyvor, you're surprised and it almost hurts you because it's like when you are push or lift something that you think is going to be way heavier than you think. So you're mm -hmm. pushing all this force and it almost resists you not at all as a small latch breaks in this door. Yeah, just oh, flies wow. open. Uh, Elimus, it took at about Canada, this like time, almost instantly, it seems you notice the um, magic fade on the doors. Whoa! I fall forward on my face. Huh. <laughs> this passageway descends into a watery passage. I hate this castle. The doors are I'm no longer there. locked by magic. Oh, well, great. I'll just try you and think? open up the next one. Sorry. Sorry. I don't want to go back down into the water. You reveal a passageway ascending. See if Wait, staircase. is that what this is? This is water? Yeah. Oh. This well. is this descends into water, this ascends. 
and curls up around, similar to the one over here that you came down. Oh, oh wait a minute. We've got a map, right? Not of the interior. Oh. Just extensive information about the grounds and the outside, like, dimensions and shit. Well, stones in the fire or stairs? My only nervousness about stones and fire is that if we get ported somewhere, we don't know how to get back out. We at the very least know how to backtrack from here. And is it going to be one of us or all of us? Yeah. How, how do we know that if we toss a stone that all of us go? What, what if it's just the person who tossed the stone? We hold hands, at least. That sounds nice. Fair enough. Not for fun, Cyborg. I'd hold your hands for fun. Cyborg turns a little red. That's not what I meant. <laughs> all right, so green... Sure, why not? This is already a clusterfuck. Oh, <laughs> hey, and we hold hands. And yep. a two. And a I'm three. Still I can't get in the room. Oh no, you're a snake. Oh, yeah, okay. she's, I'm, yeah, I'm she's attached here. to Cyborg. All right. So someone's tossing a green gem into the fire? Yep. And we're all right. holding hands. You do so. It's like we're friends. But we're not. It looks to melt <laughs> away totally into are. the brazier, and the white flame <laughs> flickers and then turns into a brilliant green color. I step through. Still holding you. Whoa! Okay, it's it's a um. It is on <laughs> like an altar. So there's this you know brazier that's about chest high and a large flame. Well, we already know there's no there. heat coming off of it. So right, right. Yeah, I, uh, oh, step! Do you climb up on top of it then? To, okay, you see Elimus kind of work his way up and touch the flame and disappear. He was still and holding hands with him. Yeah. Okay, um, as whoever was behind him, as soon as he touches it, his hand is gone. He's gone. I just and reach out and touch the flame. The, you see the sand beginning to run out of the hourglass. Touch the you sand! See, touch the fire! You see Claire touch the fire and <laughs> is gone. Immediately tap the fire with a katha on my arm. Okay, you're gone. Yeah, uh, Maris, as soon as she sees Claire disappear, runs into the fire. <laughs> All right, and whew, disappears. <laughs> Athelflaed <laughs> and Jeswaldo. Athelflaed is watching Jeswaldo. And she kicks him. Jeswaldo is muted. Muted. After you. Oh no. After you, good sir. Would it be possible as I jump into the fire to take one of the other stones? Um, you could. Uh, you could try. The, um, by the way, you saw some of the other companions. As Jaswaldo was climbing it, or sorry, as Alimus was climbing it, the minute any part of his body touched the fire, he left. So you don't have to cut, you don't have to climb up and run into it. I will also say, by the time this exchange has happened, the hourglass is a bit more than half drained. But there doesn't seem to be anything um, preventing you from. Uh, uh, taking any of these other gems. Oh. Okay. It'll probably reset. All right, I'll just touch the fire. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then whoop, half a flat will be the last one out. Oh. <laughs> All right. And just a moment here. You all went to green. I was frankly a little worried that some shenanigans was going to split the party. Some straw shenanigans. <laughs> that would have been something, huh? 
um, so you emerge one moment please there are exactly seven paths you could take well eight if you count just not going through the thing so Moment. Aha. Where are we? So you, the first thing that um, comes to mind is that it is very um, green. No, it is very. Um, dusty and there's this sort of old musty smell. There are wooden floorboards creaking under your feet you seem to be in the upper floor of a room or of a, a building it's completely dark you can hear people carriages coming and going outside you look around and there are shattered wooden boxes filled with dirt and one of the planks fuck! down there simply says junk fuck 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 ah! we are in Bilwaki. You are in the Fuck. coffin maker's shop in Velaki. Oh, Son of a bitch. No. I am so mad. Oh no. Where are we? Uh, welcome to Velaki. Remember that town we kept not going into? Oh, Velaki. Shit. One and the same. Oh. <laughs> Interesting. We... It's a good thing we got that skull. Oh, wait. We throw the right ball. Does it oh, matter? We, we got out. I mean, and accomplished nothing. Hidden corpse. Literally nothing that we intended to do when we went in there. But you know, I think we should all just take a second to be grateful for the fact that we are all still standing. I I She's think. She's got the point. Maris takes a sip of her wine glass. <laughs> It materializes. <laughs> Step from the ewer. <laughs> yeah, she's like. Mm -hmm. She offers it to Claire. I look around. Is there a way? So obviously this was part I of the riddle. Green to where the coffins hide. <laughs> so there's hidden coffins here somewhere. <laughs> maybe somewhere else. Well, I mean, we know. know we killed <clears throat> vampires. Yeah, but they were in here. Yeah, but they were in the boxes. Boxes, so a, coffins. That's not much of a stretch. That's it. I think I've pulled you guys over to that page again. Yeah. Yes. And because you've there... been here, you would remember that there was an entire showroom of thirteen coffins downstairs. Yeah. Um. Uh, what? Well, I say we search I'm the place. Go, for any I'm secret doors. Get the drink. Secret doors first, just while well. I'm gonna go downstairs to where the coffins are. With what? what? Use your, use your, your wand. Coffins? Use your wand, just water. Oh, right. Um, here or downstairs? Check out stay, uh, here first with the coffins. Maybe no, the there's... coffins are downstairs. This is the junk room where we fought all the. They're still there. You can see the bones of. Uh, well, they, there's the one. You guys I... left Henrik alive, correct? We did, yeah. We did. <laughs> Just so. clarifying. You will hear um clarifying. A mistake I'm about to rectify. <laughs> oh, you will for hear fuck's a sake. sound that will say who's there? Where is that? Mr. Von Holtz, is that you? Uh, where is that sound coming from? Downstairs. Oh. Uh yes, do not where... be alarmed. Where is that? The in the room that I'm in, or in one of the other two rooms? It is coming from as you exit down the stairs here. Yeah. You hear um, a man in here saying, "Lord von Holtz, uh, Baron, excuse me, is that you?" I walk in the room. Oh! And Surprise, you see this old man almost fall back down into his um, workshop chair. 
I will pull up his. Um, I accidentally just pulled it away, so I will pull up his portrait in just a moment. Um, he is there, and let's see if I have a little handout for him. Ah, oh, yes. You remember this as Henrik, who you, I believe, tied up and, you know. <laughs> Did we, uh, is he still tied up? I'm sure no, he is not, but he looks uh, very frightened and definitely recognizes you. Oh, please don't hurt me. I, how did you get in here? And sits back in his chair. The same way Strahd gets in here. Who's... His eyes kind of go wide. I, what are you talking about? You told us last time that you were storing things for Vasily von Holst. Yes. yes? And does he the usually attic. just show so up in the attic? Yeah. I don't know how he does it, but I, the way he speaks, I, it's a man you don't question. Very charming, isn't he? He paid very well. Yes, he's very, very well spoken. And Strahd. That's fucking Strahd. As always. DM, I will use the uh, the Wand of Secrets. Okay. Is he a bad guy? You uh, extend Heinrich? the charge and you get no response from it. There is nothing here. If we want to go back to the castle, we have to walk. Or I suppose we could steal this man's gold and buy horses. What? I just Waldo. Well, Out of the question. Leave why? the poor man alone. Why is it out of the question? Don't we need to go back to the castle quickly? At least we need to. We are not going to accomplish our goals by stomping all over everyone else. At least we know teleportation works in this land. Within. Within, yes. Oh my god. I wonder what will happen to our allies that are walking around outside of the castle. Fuck shit. Oh yeah. Victor's still there, right, Claire? I leave. And so is Esmeralda. I'm out of there. Maris scurries off after Claire. Please. I, I don't have any gold, sir. We don't want well, to you, get said, Waldo. you said that the, the uh, Count paid you quite handsomely. We're not robbing him, Jeswaldo. We don't I need to meet gold. you. He looks. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> he looks at you and your wings and just. Uh... <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Fine, we don't have to rob him. I remove my mask. <laughs> just. Oh, man. Maybe. Oh, scary. <gasps> You should continue. You should consider donating to our cause. So, I yell at Jeswaldo from the out. Like I just yell Jeswaldo's out for name from outside. Take what you want, please. Thank you very much. Oh, I, very kind of you. Well, let's look around here. Where would you keep your gold, Jeswaldo? I walk back into the house. Jeswaldo, hmm? you don't need his gold. DC seventeen wisdom save. Oh, 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 I think the odds are not in my favor on this one. Yes, yeah. that, that <laughs> would be a... <laughs> oh, ah, cool. um, fucking deserved it. So you see just Waldo just oh go a little God. bit slack-jawed at the moment. You know what, Elimus? You are right. Oh, yeah. You've never been more right about anything in your life. So, uh, forget about that, and um, you have a nice day, sir. Mask on, just Waldo. All right. Do, 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 do. Have a good day, sir. Thank you, yeah. Alimus. Oh, I didn't do anything. Thank you. I just walk out, follow this world. Though. Yep, I know there's an issue. We're still waiting for Chelsea to rejoin. She's um. Oh yeah, we're still on a all different connection different. Oh. slash computer tonight. So bless her. Yeah. Um, do you need me to join for phone? Uh, yeah, you can do. Yeah. Hopefully she'll be back soon. <clears throat> Um, we've got people in different houses today. Theresa's in a different house. 
I'm in a different house. You're in a different house as well. I, I saw you have a different background hey. going on there. He's in Spain. Uh, it's my childhood bedroom. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> what What are the little things on the walls? They I are actually shame. this. It's shame. It's a lot of shame. Um, oh. And then, are you talking about these little guys? Yeah. What are are they? Actually, well, yes, but they're really they're like candle holders. Of course and they are. Back in the day when I was like so dramatic. Oh boy. Nothing has clearly Love. changed. But yeah. <laughs> I would like burn candles and journal <laughs> like my really deep thoughts. Oh, <laughs> but then so intense. Like, wax started dripping down my walls and my mom was furious. And there's still wax there. Yeah. That's really funny. We got the like the missed opportunities house tour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's really it. funny. I love it. Near the cribs right. of missed opportunities. So I do Maris's think childhood I think that better. That's... I think that that um, that bar with all the Raven people uh, had some good some good things to drink. Well, they had some of that, uh, red back crush. to the castle. Yeah, we have to go back to for... get back the people that we left there. Well, yes. we have time for like one drink. Use your Just brain. One. Maybe the people who are in that place could help us get back faster. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Maris is already walking in the direction of the. What? What time of day is it? There. <laughs> Don't you already have the ewer? It is getting to it's be not enough. Uh, it is starting to become evening. I uh, there's a stable somewhere here. Yes, no, maybe lobster. Maris has palate fatigue. She needs a new drink. <laughs> um, I want to go to is... the Blue Otter Inn. <laughs> oh, blue Otter. <laughs> that again. It'll um, never die. I'm trying to find my uh my Valaki map. Um. Take but yes, um, we we remember it, uh, Peter. We, we, yeah. Okay. Be so lucky. Uh, so it sounds like we have some. Uh, as you guys step outside, it is evening. Uh, most people are, you know, in for the night. But you see a couple of, like a patrol far off down the street with a torch. Um, a couple guards walking, um, here and there. But it seems far. mostly a quiet night, or the beginnings of a quiet night. How far are we from the castle? A long way, actually. Far. You remember where Casimir's house is? Was that the one that we burned down? No. <laughs> Casimir, the, the wizard's no. house on the hill. <laughs> where, you know, Fair where enough. I'm assuming Casimir's with us. Wait, is he with us, or did he did stay behind he in the didn't castle? He did follow me that we talked about. Um, He will have come with you. Uh, okay, I was like... With you, yes. Okay. This and is about to get real complicated. Very, very... <laughs> Irritated. Isn't there some better way we could have done this? Why? Well, do you think there's any of those things outside that could teleport us back in? Probably not. I have absolutely no idea. So, Just have to do this the old okay. fucking fashion way. We've got we've got three choices. Claire can summon her mount and ride off in a huff, um, or. We could try to find um, a Rudolph fellow. Uh, if anybody knows of a fast way to get to Barovia, it could be him. Or we could talk to the... He looks around, leans in. Raven people at the Blue Otter Inn. Maybe they have a way to get us there faster. I, I mean, say that. Or we just go to the stable and try to buy horses. All right, so four choices. I mean, we did kind of clean them out of horses the last time we were here, though don't see the harm in just stopping by the blue water inn. We could also check and see if those children ever showed up. Oh, yeah. we need to check on them. Well, I'm betting not. stand in the road and wait for him to send horses again. Fine, let's go to the goddamn inn and ask for help. Hey! This is off. So you make your way um, towards the center of the city. Uh, this is near the uh, um the manor home, which um, just Waldo set on fire. Uh, the, there um, is the building that we set on fire. <laughs> Wait, there was another one? Oh, there's been several. And as you're going, there is a gar group of guards, um, about five of them walking the streets, two of them holding torches, and they go, Hey, 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 you there. Who's, who's there? Uh, no one you need concern yourself with. We're all just heading to the Blue Water Inn. 
Panache. Water. It's so good. Have you been? Maris is still walking. Can I make my persuasion? Pretty well armed for going out drinking. Go ahead and make your persuasion. Yeah. Oh, not bad. I mean, not good. 18. Oh. Mm. They seem to accept your story, but wow. do follow up and say, pretty pretty well armed for a night in the for a night with the with the tanker, don't you think? Well, where else would we put our weapons? Practical warriors never leave their weapons behind. Guards should know that. Does it matter? Be on your way. Ooh. <laughs> you see the other one. Ah hey, she told you, Benjamin. <laughs> He goes, hey, all right. Come She's on, a little go grumpy. On. She's a little grumpy. We'll be out of your I way. I glare at his wall, don't keep walking. <laughs> See? I mean, mm. you know, she should probably spend the night in jail just to cool down. Should... Don't start with me as I'm mm. still walking. They uh, turn around but seem to think better of it. And um, you are... Um, I'm ten not feet behind her. Harassed any f- <laughs> any further as you move your way to the blue water in. Oh, Should I wait outside? <laughs> Did they say anything about Cybor? I know. It's like <laughs> they seem to have not quite noticed. Um... It is getting dark out. If yeah. you like, really brought them in. Oh, one yeah. of them you, probably you, you, did a double take and like wiped his eye, and then when the other guy was like, "All right, you can go," he just kind of you could you could wear uh, Athelflaed's goat goat cloak. Yeah. True, it is yeah. it is a yeah, and I would look cloak. like this. Like, <laughs> well, it just look like you're wearing a really big backpack. Hey. Yeah, a big furry backpack. <laughs> it looks so good. It's really so. Nice. He he went the wrong way on his European backpacking Ugh. adventure. <laughs> Just, anyway. I'm so totally yoked out, man. Look at me. <laughs> All right. So, Blue Water Inn. Um, it is there's a fair amount of activity at the moment. Um, you see the familiar faces of uh, um, the Martikov family. Um, you see the two little children with the uh, white streak through the hair kind of bustling about, helping uh, with the tables and everything, helping their mother. Danica's and, children. Mm-hmm. Cyborg. Not the kids that we sent. Oh. Just so you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually going to wait outside. I just... That's fine. Probably I don't blame you. For the best. Mm. Oh my god, is Rudolph von Richten here? Oh my god, is he here? <laughs> wait, Rudolph von Richten lives here? Let me help you. What, you gonna wait His outside? token is on the map. So. Oh. Sorry. And I love that I hadn't guy. pulled it all the way over. He is not. Um, there is no bard. There is no music. Um, just low conversation. You see familiar faces of two gruff hunters leaning against a wall, sipping on uh, glasses of wine. Um the uh, um, Martikovs seem to recognize you and um, kind of give you a curt nod and um, just go about their business um, playing it cool for the moment. So what's Hello. the plan, guys? What do we do now? Uh, excuse, do I know you? And he looks to Claire and he looks to... Um, Maris and Elimus, who are the only ones that he recognizes, or that she recognizes at the moment. Um, you've... who... We've seen some change in personnel. I see. Um... Well, I'm sure everything's well and good, yes, with that? As good as it can be. Um, we are actually... I'll sort of get in close. We had an unfortunate circumstance. We need to get back to Castle Ravenloft with speed. Um, is there any way you might be able to help us with that? Uh, please, 
I don't have many bottles left over from that vintage, but we might have a few. Um, the it's quite dusty, and I don't want you know other clientele uh, feeling um, left out. So please come back and take a look at which one you might want, and we can talk about. Sounds it. Sounds good. Red, Red Dragon Crush, Claire. Whatever you say. Excellent choice. We'll see if we can find any. And she goes. She pulls you back behind the bar and into this sort of kitchen area and says. <sighs> I am very sorry um, about that. Uh, just, uh, are you okay? They're, they're not taking you captive, are they? No. We actually um, somewhat went in of our own accord. Um, we Good. had business in there. and um, I mean, your companions, they're not holding you hostage or anything. No. Um, they look frightening. Well, the one looked really cute, actually, but the other... <laughs> Um, we've been through a lot in uh, recent days, um, and have um, encountered strange things. Um, I see. Uh, well, as for the transportation, uh, we've heard about everything you've done. We are so grateful. Um, Davian has told us everything, and, well, we wouldn't have wine here today if it wasn't for what you did at the vineyard, so, um... We have two draft horses out back. Um, it will be some time before we can have any need for them. You're welcome to take them. I can also pull some things together to help you for your trip, but that's it. That's I'm afraid. That is very much appreciated. Thank you. Um, I can summon a horse myself. We might be able to accommodate um, another rider, so the two horses would be fine. Um, if you could have them saddled and ready to go shortly, that would be immensely Wonderful. Thank you. Of course. Of course. Um, be careful on your way out of town. The guards ask a lot of questions these days. Um, How have things been here since, you know, turnover? Um, well, it's been quiet. Things... It's been tough for business, really. For us, it's not been much activity on the streets, not, I mean, the guards like to keep the streets clear at night, and then, well, Lady Voxter, she calls people in occasionally for questioning. We ourselves have been called in more than most, I think, but um, I... I hope she's not on to you. I don't know. It's a rumor in town that some people don't come back from there, but... Um, I'd be honest, I never really got a good vibe from her. Yeah. Uh, but you... What you're doing is more important than that. We will we will be fine. We will maintain... We always... We always have. We've always been able to stay secret. Um, please, take the horses. Let me just give you a moment to gather some things. I'll send my husband out. Um, are you going now, or are you taking an evening? Um, we should not linger long. Um, I'll double check with the rest of them. They might need a breather just for a moment, but we'll get going before the evening is out. Very well. Um, please, I'll, I'll send a plate of food out with some wine. Um, Thank it'll you. It'll be just a moment. Absolutely. All right, and she sends you on your way. I go back up. All right, um, gather the group up at a table. Um, we coming coming in close, trying to make sure that there's no um, no one's listening in. Um, they can get us two horses. I can summon a third. Um, a kantha. Is there a creature that you can turn into that can travel with speed and maybe with a rider if you're willing? Okay. I can turn into... How does a giant elk sound? It sounds delightful. Yeah. Familiar. Um, I think with that arrangement, we should be fine if we double up on the draft horses. Uh, Peter, I think you're maybe... Yep. I don't okay. know about you, but I could use a rest. Mm. Mm-hmm. 
a rest as in a breather and a snack, or a rest as in sleep for the night? I mean... I could sleep. <sighs> it's late. Which feet? It's really not that late. Well, it's up to you, Claire, but don't we have people who need, like, to have their, I don't know, energy back to cast spells and stuff? But if we stay here, then Victor could die at the castle waiting for us. He's not in the castle. As much as I believe in haste. He and Esmeralda are outside. Yeah. Yeah. As much as I believe in haste, I am pretty much spent. My powerful spells are spent. What's everyone else's status? Uh, to be perfectly honest, I'm perfectly fine. I'm good to go. Yeah. Yes, I'm, I'm not fine. surprised. We can travel for a bit and rest. I have the hut we can rest in. I just would need some rest at some point to be able to help everyone. If we leave now, we could get a good few hours traveling. I would prefer that, if that's okay with everyone. Sure. It works. Alright, so it sounds like you're waiting a bit, and then leaving? Okay. Um, Mrs. Martikov will bring you down a small box. Uh, she says, food for the road. Um, just uh, just five silver, please. It should feed you all for a day or two. I pay up. Okay. And she, there's some clinking inside as she puts down a, like a, a sack. Um, sorry, you can't stay longer. Um, my rooms are always open. Um, Under better circumstances, we would... I'd be happy to stay and enjoy your hospitality longer. All right. And as you, um, opening the bag, whoever does, you will find um, three potions inside. There are two elixirs of health and one potion of healing. Ooh. Uh, What's an elixir of health? Sure her name's not Pixie? (laughs) Yay, Pixie. Um, It is... uh, it restores, it ends conditions. So uh, it cures any disease and removes blinded, deafened, paralyzed, and poisoned conditions. Okay. Um, who wants to hold on to these? Yeah, um, maybe Cyborg is mobile. So I think he should definitely have one at least. So you have a magic mount, you have two draft horses, which are very large, by the way, as I'm thinking. Um, Easily carry two people. Well, then with that and our giant elk, I think we are good to go. Yeah, I think you are. We leave. Yeah. All right. Uh, Heading out into the night, um, galloping out with uh, speed, the fact that you are leaving, the guards do not ask too many questions um, and seem kind of relieved when you are purposefully heading towards the door. When we were in not the lot. Inn, was we there for a short rest maybe or was we gone? Were we in and out pretty quick? It sounded like you were in and out. Um, okay. We had a conversation, got everything together. That's yeah, what it sounded sense. like to me. So. Okay. And I got one of the elixirs of health. Um, okay. yeah, let's do that. Um, I mean, I'll hold on to the other one if anyone cares. Um, do you want the potion of Limus or Maris or whoever? I don't know. Um, let me just double check. I think I've still got a healing potion. I've still got one. I've still got, I've got two healing potions still. All right. I'll let you hand it to Maris. Thanks. I've also got Is a potion a of lesser rest. for me? What's the speed on a draft horse? Uh, draft horse is... Af- African or European. I know, is it a laden uh, uh, draft a, horse? Uh, it's a 40 foot speed. Oh, okay, great. I'm just going to fly. So... 
All right. So you all continue on into the night. It's probably a good place to take our break. There you go. All righty, we shall. Um, you guys are heading on out of Valaki, and um, it comes to be a point somewhere mid evening where you think if you're going to rest till morning, now's probably going to be the time. So, just while that's the riding, plan. Just while those riding with Claire. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, wow. I gave him a rule and he's following it to a T. <laughs> Malicious compliance. Yes, wonderful. Great. Love this. <laughs> wow. I didn't want this more. Mm. Can I be on the giant elk, please? It seems yes. fitting. Uh, Jeswaldo, watch the uh, hanging bit of intestine yeah. there. Don't get tangled up in it. Oh, that's all right. I... Me and the horse have that in common. Yeah, maybe I should just leave the two of you and I'll go ride with someone else. What a fitting pair. I don't think that would work. Mm. Was no, you might get you, thrown off. Something you wanted to say to me. Do it. I guess I have a question. Um... Since you know you're all in the mode of rethinking things, you know, a new a new outlook on life, so to speak. Um, what do you think about that real special week that you had with the princess now? Hmm. Well, that was a long time ago. Mm-hmm. Let me put it to you this way. This outlook on life that I have, uh, it's not so much new as it is uh, rediscovery. You know that after uh, all of that business and after I was a mercenary and after various things happened and she and her family died, I was abandoned for a while. I recall you mentioning. I was a leader of a bandit group, Claire. Not the good kind, um, the kind that goes around and sings and is jolly and people tell funny stories about. I was not a person that you would have associated with, Claire. But what's worse is the people who I had under my control were even worse. What kind of a person do you think has, what, what does a person have to be like in order to command respect from men like that? Persuasive. Hmm. Persuasive. We arrived here, remember I thought that it was a dream. And in a dream world, one can be an ide idealized version of themselves. So, I don't think I'm dreaming anymore. You stopped dreaming long no. before the Amber Temple. Like my... mm, did I? I feel more awake now than I did. In a way, this uh, hmm, skin problem is uh, freeing. For so long, I was trying to pretend to be something I wasn't, and now the outside reflects the inside. And I think you're kidding yourself again. I guess we'll see. Because I don't think what you showed me in Kresk was a lie. I think that that was as real as this is. You know, the person who thought that by giving one woman true happiness we've achieved something good in the world <laughs> mm? or is that fucking bullshit to you now too well it certainly was naive naive to think that there could be anything good in the world at all
So is that version of you dead then? Because hmm. if he's is, I'd like to know so I can mourn and fucking move on with my life. Let me put it to you this way. If there was a different version of me who didn't like what was happening, he would probably try to kill himself. I don't know, maybe by going into a chapel filled with enemies of Strad and making himself look like one of their enemies. But you saved me. You don't get to turn this on me. Just pointing out the facts, Claire. Well, the next time I won't save you. Sure. No more conversation. And the murmuring from the undead horse slows or, and or, uh, vanishes. Murmuring? Oh, well, oh, your conversation. Got it. Yeah. Now, you all get to a point. I think your plan was to make camp before Yeah, reaching. we wanted to try and get a decent way ahead and then when it starts getting really dark set up the hut and camp okay sounds good you may do so Athelflaed yes what's up with Claire's horse I have no idea she's had that the whole time I've seen her I'm um... I did, just, just for the record, Cyborg, I summoned just, just it. Don't touch. <laughs> just don't touch, don't touch the guts. Like, yeah. Leave the intestines alone. I try to keep away from it. Anything you that, summon here is bad. It comes with its own rope. I think... Well, it in. Oh Ew! <laughs> all, all organic rope? Oh my yeah. god. But yeah, I... I'm never going to be able to unsee that. Yeah, it's intestine. Ew. Ah. No? I, I no. didn't hate it as much as I wanted to. I didn't hate it. <laughs> oh, can I roll for a memory wipe, please? <laughs> Someone else has to cast that on you. Modify memory. Do it now. Please, please do that. I don't get that until like 13th level, I think. Ah, shit. Well, does Maris have it? She's level 27. I'm level now, 27. Right? <laughs> yeah. I have all of the spells. Yeah. She has every spell for every class. Oh, Long no. Rest. Long so, rest. Um, for, for making camp, um, what's our uh, watch? I get the hut up. But obviously, yeah. that protects us. I can't leave it. But yeah. you might need to do a watch, obviously, for the horses and stuff. All right. So, are we going long or short rest? Oh, long Sounds rest. like we're long resting. I thought long rest. Long rest. Mm. Oh. Yeah, because it is it is the night time. It, it is the night. I will take I will take the first watch. Generously. I will, will also take the first watch. Oh. Just... <laughs> okay. I curl up on the opposite side of the hut from Jesvaldo. Yeah, <laughs> I take I'll take all second the watch. watches. I do not take any. Watches. Take, Are you watching uh, from inside, or what is your plan? Uh, um, I'm gonna watch from inside. As long as we can see the horses. Yeah. Right? We can see the horses from inside oh. the hut, right, Jade? Yes. Because uh, Vlad and I can prance around. I, I I'll, will I'll be right back, be guys. Um, but we can we can see through the we yeah. can see through the the material because that's why I yep. saw those creepy wolves. Yeah, it's it's invisible for or not invisible. It's there's a word for it, visible? but I just can't remember right now. <laughs> The thing where you see through things. <laughs> there it is. Yes, yeah, seeing through, not just going. Um, before you go to bed, Claire, mm. I would like to just check in with you about your conversation with Jeswaldo. So, Maris just asks 
you know, I mean, he's been weird lately. Mm. Like, I saw you guys talking. Did he have anything to say? He had words. Okay. And, um... Should we be worried? I mean... Maracy Cyborg just nodding. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um... Although it seems that he doesn't really care if we okay. worry. No. That just doesn't I'm... seem like him. He always wanted us no, to be no, worried. No, he's an entirely different person now. I, the Amber Temple absolutely fucked him. And as far as I'm concerned, the man that I would have called my friend is gone. So if he's going to help us, then great, he can stay. And if he's not going to help us, if he's going to be a dick and do things that try to make us jump out of fucking carriages or throw himself at Strahd's feet again. He doesn't want to be fucking saved. So yeah. why the fuck should I help him? Fair fair enough. Um I don't I don't know how you'd feel about this, but I think there's something I could try. Like what? Well, I mean I don't know. I I could try to help him return to the person he was. This is my fire stick. <sighs> if he's... By casting a spell. What kind of spell? Maris <laughs> looks over her shoulder to make sure it is being just between her and Claire. Um, I could I could cast I could cast ceremony, and I could hopefully change him back and help him the atonement particularly I could help him I don't know if it would work I just I, I mean if you really think that this is that he's so far gone that he's no longer the person that he was at all you think that I want him to be gone no uh, no like, I'm just I just I just don't know if you really feel like I'm just saying I'm willing to try Well, I guess the better question is with whether he's right. willing to try. So looking around, there's no well, I mean, does he have to, like, no? <laughs> I, uh, I mean, if, how about you spend a little time thinking about what such a uh, ritual might entail? Mm. And... Let me know what you come up with. Okay. Yeah. I just wanted to check it Thank with you. Thank you. Maris, you would know just because it's simply because it's on your spell list. It's something mm -hmm. you're well capable of and you could yes. do it in an hour with 25 gold pieces worth of supplies. Does it have to be supplies or can it be 25 gold pieces? <laughs> you... All of your money is a big mix of platinum, silver, and gold. So you have mountains of silver. Okay. Great. I was just going to do it. <laughs> oh, like right now? Well, yeah. I mean, I, okay. Shh. Maris looks over her shoulder. <laughs> Everyone. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I was, I mean, that's why I wanted to, to take the, the first watch with with Jesse, because I just, I've also uh, felt for a long time things weren't, weren't right. So, yeah. Jesse. Jesse. <laughs> Jesse has a friend. Well, do you, do, do you, that, have you ever called, fall asleep. have you ever called Jeswaldo that? Uh, not to his face, but in her diary, wink. Okay. <laughs> wink. Right in the diary. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. A little, a little, a little heart over the eye. What, uh, <laughs> what, give okay, what, uh, giveaway oh, number oh. is uh, Maris's diary release going to be? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my god. Away. I would totally. I want a mock up. I want a mock up. I, uh, I need to add something no. very, very important. Please, we I will used do to it. do, we used to do a patron, <laughs> right? And one of the patrons tears was something like what you're saying <laughs> like, um uh, just what, let like me know when 
Yeah, oh my god, yeah. what else am I doing? I'm about to be like <laughs> not in school for six oh. weeks. <laughs> oh my god, Maris after hours. Um, also, Please I'm finishing your... my doctorate. I have nothing happening for myself. <laughs> Let's be honest. It's all research and writing at this point. Um, and and so, making a diary, apparently. Yeah, more writing. I'm really helping my academia. Like my academic. Your academia? <laughs> I, I was, I was going to say academia, but then it went a different way. It went a, anyway, so enough about me. Um, more about Maris and just Waldo. Jesse, wink. Um, so, yeah, um, I just... I don't know. I just, I just wanted to run it by you. I just thought it was something that would be worth exploring. Well, if you're gonna try it, then I'm not going to sleep. But I'll just. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna and... try it, but just like be cool about it. Okay. I won't say a word, and I just Wait. give her a little hand squeeze, curl up under my covers, and just listen. <laughs> <laughs> Eyes like fully. Oh God. <laughs> Okay, Maris goes like that, right? <laughs> back towards the front of the tent. All right. I cast a spell. Um, my ring you are now on watch with uh, with Jeswaldo. Um, whatever happens is up to you guys. But first of all, please make perception checks. So bad at these. Yeah. Damn! I cast a spell into my ring before I go to bed. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Natural 20 for a 21. Ooh. The best perception check I've ever had. I even beat Maris. <laughs> Fair the enough. Ever had and the best perception check you will ever have again. More likely. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you want, you want some wine? Is that... I mean, not uh, a lot. We're we're on watch. We're on watch. <laughs> I'm good, actually. But oh. please go ahead. I'm sure. being incredibly observant for some reason. You like cards, right? You you want to play some cards while we pass the time? That's uh. The first time you've ever asked me to do anything like that, Maris, is uh, I... something on your mind? No, no. Just like feel like we haven't really had a chance to connect recently since uh, all the drama at the Amber Temple. So just like wanted to check in and see how you're doing. I mean, I mean you were dead. Did you experience the same sort of thing that that kid in uh, Cress could talk about, where you were? You know, with a whole bunch of bodies just sort of waiting in a pit to come back into life. Uh, you know, to be honest, I haven't, uh, I don't really remember much from my dead time. Maris, um, whether or not that's a coping mechanism or whatnot, <laughs> you remember the, um, the short time you were dead as, mm -hmm. um, sort of excruciating it's you couldn't even rest from your body you were shoulder to shoulder with other bodies just trying to keep your lips or nose or something above this water that was lapping around you holding your breath and <clears throat> occasionally gasping for water as people tried to climb on top of you and you had to shove them away constantly and all you could do was just subsist in this slow subtle agony of crowded, barely living death. Yes. So Maris totally remembers that, but she doesn't want to make this convo about her. <laughs> so... Well, Maris, come on, you can tell me, Panache. God damn it. <laughs> You're a piece of shit. God damn it. A wisdom save? No, no, uh, isn't save. It's a uh, um, an insight check. It's a contested roll. Okay. Jez Waldo, you beautiful son of a bitch. It could have been much higher. You could probably <laughs> beat this one. It's a shame. Claire's, it's Claire's, uh, Claire's aura doesn't give anything. No, because it's not a save. It's an insight check. Uh, so my so I just tell you right what my insight is. 
No, roll it. It's a roll. Just roll it. Yeah, you could totally beat it. Can I roll it from D and D Beyond? Where is mm-hmm. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, your skills. Deep boop, bop boop. Ah ha 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 ha. No, I still don't see where it is on the page. It's under history. It's alphabet skills. You look down your skills. After H comes I. Oh my! I mean, <gasps> you clicked you clicked persuasion a second or perception a second ago. I'm like, why? Well, it's probably it's a couple I, lines up. <laughs> oh, oh! I just okay. remember all those like words in academia and stuff. <laughs> How's that? Do you make up? Academia. I believe it's. Academia. Oh my god! I'm a doctor. I, it's, it's academia. Thank you very much. <laughs> academia. <laughs> He's been reading French, guys. Yeah. Leave her alone. J'excuse. J'excuse. <laughs> Oh God, that hurts me so much. Roll it, <laughs> come on. I did. All right. so no. Didn't I? I, I haven't. It. it hasn't showed up yet. God, I mean, absolutely. The insight check. Of course, nothing yeah. I would like more. Twenty two. You notice that um, just Waldo mm. has subtly tried to influence your mind. Um, just we have Waldo. to discuss what this is. Is this just natural charisma, well, or is this an actual magical effect? It is not magical. Um, well, let me let me. I'm before the notice is taken effect. Let me read through the um, description. Are you under the assumption? Are you arguing that a target would not know? That it's, this it's, takes place? I, I am willing to go by your call. I I have sure. I, I just want to know how you read it. I think it makes it more fun if it's just he's suddenly so incredibly charming that people are like, oh well, how can I not? trust this guy however the effect of a charm if it's the same as the spell that's a little strong so i could see it going on either falling on either side of the of the coin okay. so what i will here's, say i guess the question if it's something that could be dispelled then it's a it's high level thing it's, isn't it it's a high level yeah skills so. it is something, certainly a, yeah. what i will say is that um you you do not know that necessary that he was trying to it's not like he was trying to control your mind or anything but you feel like mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. Waldo's words he was trying to effectively manipulate you for a moment not to control you but you feel like you saw through um the way he was using his words and he was trying to poke at something there that was very nearly effective so I'll put it that way does that make sense uh mm-hmm. he was yeah <laughs> You're not oblivious to it, but it wasn't like, uh, yeah. So. Maris narrows her eyes <laughs> at Jeswaldo. The yellow eyes and Jeswaldo's mask narrow. <laughs> Why'd you do that, bud? I don't know. I, I thought we that's... were just having an open conversation as friends. <laughs> Fair enough. I wanted you to confide in me. I apologize. Okay, well, I'll confide in you if you confide in me. Deal. Great. Okay. Yeah. So it was terrible. I do remember it. It was awful. Um, it's pretty much the worst experience that you could ever imagine. And you wouldn't want so, that for I anybody mean, what else, else do you... right? No, no one. I, I mean, maybe Strahd because he sucks, but like, hmm. okay. not anyone I care about. Well, good. I'm glad we have you around, Maris. I am also glad to be around i am also glad that you're around okay your turn to confide in me um how are you really since the amber temple good actually Mm. you don't think it there's some inconveniences with all this sure 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 freeing do you feel like you've you've i don't know Maybe had some sort of paradigm shift since the Amber Temple, or do you mostly feel like the same person? Or I mean, it's okay. I'm just gonna level with you. It was a little weird to me that um, I know you have diamonds, and we needed them for a spell, and you wouldn't give them to us, and that just seemed very strange just didn't seem like you and i i'm maybe i'm a little reticent to be upfront with you because i i don't i don't know that i understand you anymore 
Well, I will confide. The simple fact of the matter is, I don't trust everyone in this group. I liked things better when it was you and Claire and me and that weird lizard guy and... Oh, uh, yeah, he was great. And... Um, him. And Mary. These other folks. I get a bad vibe from them. So... I mean, as someone that you trust, I understand being, you know, a little less than comfortable with these new people. But I, I think they've proven their loyalty time and time again. They're good. They're good folk. I mean, I... Maris, don't be deceived. There are only a few people here who have your best interests in heart. Point in fact. Here. And I give her the diamonds. <laughs> Maris is stoked. Uh, How many diamonds? <laughs> Claire's got to write it down. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I am going to write it down. <laughs> Two. Yeah. Okay. Thank. I mean, thank you. Because the spell that I want to be able to cast will ultimately help all of us um i just i just want to make sure that you are i mean claire said she had a weird conversation with you it's fun to mess with claire oh, surely okay. you've noticed that oh uh, no i totally i totally know what you mean claire I mean. bristles under the blanket <laughs> <laughs> like all the stuff about victor just like that's <laughs> my favorite she gets so mad. She gets so mad. Yeah, no, I, I know what you're saying. Um, I guess it's just that we're worried about you. Well, I hope that this gesture shows that you can trust me. Sure. Can I take, sort of take her hand? It's going to be all right, Maris. Mm, do I trust him? Make an inside check. Can I make an inside check? <laughs> uh, you may. Great. Beep boop up. Now that I know exactly where that is on my sheet. He seems sincere in saying that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well. Do you want to play cards or? <clears throat> Maris takes a sip of wine. I thought you were doing a spell. Uh, oh, she wants to do the spell, but she just wants You to. know, Maris, we really should pay attention to what's around us. Sure, 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 sure. So I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go, I guess, like, sit a little, a little further away. And Maris starts casting the spell. <laughs> so, just so you know, um... It has to be willing. <laughs> he has to be willing. So oh, damn it! You would, you would know <laughs> I forgot that, con about that. <laughs> uh, continuing, if you want to continue that discussion at all. Um, I do actually no Jiswaldo. We're not done talking. <laughs> there could be things creeping up on this, Maris. You know, I I I think anything that could creep up on us, we've got it. We've got it under control. So um yeah, back to uh she takes his hand in hers, gives it a little pat. Back to our uh, our previous line of discussion. Um I, uh, it's hard for me to say, but having also touched the amber, a, a relic in the amber temple, uh -huh. um, I know that it, it made me not myself. I very nearly became someone entirely different than the person I am. I am listening so intently. <laughs> what? I touched the same thing you did. I mean, I definitely felt better afterwards, but no different. I'm sure it was. But don't different. you. I don't. How much do you trust me? Would you trust me with your life? I trust you with mine. You've always given me every reason to trust you. Of course, I trust you. But 
I don't know that I'm willing to do what it is that I think you're asking me to do. My cat's really invested, are you sure? <laughs> now, now that you mention it, yes. <laughs> Stella really wants you to do it. How can I say no to the cat? I mean... Um, what, okay, what is so it that just... you want of me? There are just moments in which you've really seemed to be entirely different from the person that we all knew at the beginning of our, our quest. Well, and it's been a rough I could days. be totally wrong. I could be totally wrong. Um, yes, but the change has been marked. <laughs> and I could be totally wrong, but I think that when you touched the relic, it changed you deeply and in a way that has not necessarily been will not necessarily ultimately be to your benefit and I just want to see what would happen if I and again I could be totally wrong it's like if I'm wrong we lose nothing we lose nothing um, but I would just you know, like to see what happens if maybe I cast a little, a little, a little spell just to pass the time. It'll just be cool. fun. Yeah. Go ahead. Great. I don't think it's going to change anything. Sure. Yeah. Me neither. Really. Um, yeah. It was really more or just like a checking. <laughs> just a little spell. <laughs> she cast the spell now. No, <laughs> just a cute little spell. Go uh, ahead. I'm actually curious she... if this will work. I know. <laughs> All right, DM, do I have the go-ahead? <laughs> Are all my so, ducks in a row? Has Maris explained to Jeswaldo what this will do? I'm just going to say. Well, if what I fear is true, that your alignment, that you are no longer good, but you are evil, if that is true, then you will go back to being good. I just think it's a, a, a win-only situation. You think I'm evil? I think that you're not maybe the most good that How you've ever been. How aware are we of the concept of an alignment <laughs> chart? I know, that's what's hard! Because it's like, how can I explain All right. this? <laughs> Alright, now, now that you mentioned it, Damaris, I think that maybe I don't want you to do this. I... I'm fine it's, with who I am right no, now. I, in fact, I think I actually have a better chance of staying alive in the condition that I am. Okay, but in the condition that you are, would you have saved me? It would depend on the circumstance, Maris. I would save you no matter what. Outside of circumstance. It's easy and to I say know, that, Maris. No, I know that I would because I friggin' died because I tried to save Claire. I don't know if you were there, but I died. Uh, I was there. We were all there, Paris. But you I never mean, let us not be anything but there. <laughs> I'd keep you there with me. <laughs> but, I mean, the thing is, again, it could it could do nothing. It could do nothing. It's just, please, just for me. It's just, a, it's, it's probably nothing. Just indulge me. No. God damn it. Is there anything I can do to change your mind? Ask me on a different day. Okay. <laughs> well, he won't let me do it. <laughs> okay. You know that the spell will not function without a willing participant. By the way, everybody, it's slash WGM for whispering the jam. Just going to throw it out there. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> All Nicely right. done, Jiswaldo. <laughs> Thank you. So that's the uh, rest of your um, <laughs> rest of your watch? I guess so. Do we see anything? We. You do not. Mm. And you can all take a long rest. Um... I know you would normally set other watches, but 
I didn't need to roll for inspiration earlier. Okay, we'll wake up. Wait, what? What do you mean? Well, I've just checked. I've already got inspiration. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't need to roll earlier. So, as watch. you guys, um, as it comes to morning, ah, okay. you guys gather your things and get ready. Maris, um, as you are gathering your armor, shield, and holy symbol and stuff, you grab that and you think well you know grab this and up the vampire the van the symbol of raven kind is not in your possession i'm sorry what <laughs> excuse what? me where did it go i had it <laughs> fuck when did this happen when was the last what? time you it? DM? The fuck? When's the last time you used it? Well, it's been I a used, while. Well, I, I thought that I had used I used it. Did in you the, have it on yesterday? Yes. I was going to use it against Strahd, and then he disappeared like a bee. <laughs> so. Did, but you didn't actually use it, so. No, I wish I could have. But you did have it. But I did have it. As far as I did knew. Did you have it before? You, you're sure we had it before you went into Ravenloft? Well, the last time we had it was with. I mean, I remember the last time we had it had it was with Strahd. When I. How do you, how do you know you. I mean, did you actually. Because I cast it against him. I used it against him. When? You didn't. You might have been going to, but if you remember. A couple yeah. days ago. Oh. That, time. that was the last. That was the last time you used it. I thought no. Wait, no, no. Because I no. Yes, yeah, yeah. That was it. I start casting to tech magic. Do we? I mean, what, what did it look like? I can help you find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we looking for? It's the sun. The sun shaped amulet that Maris has been carrying for a while. You've seen her use it a couple times, I think. I've been wearing it. Yeah. Okay, so did we see it? Did so, you, okay, so he would, he would have mentioned, DM would have mentioned it on waking up earlier. The reason I mentioned it right now is because it's a time when you are re, you're getting everything together, checking your gear and everything. So, like, oh. the last time we long rested, would you have, if it had been missing then, would you have mentioned it then? Yeah. So, between the last, last long rest hours. and now, so we long rested before. Guys, about the same spot. Yeah. Yeah. Before you t got hopped <laughs> in the carriage. Yeah. Almost. You know. You just did it. Waldo, fall you off did of the carriage. What? No. Don't have it. Just Waldo, you took it. No. <laughs> just Waldo, Jesse, <laughs> I trusted you. Didn't take it. He totally has it. <laughs> Everyone, pin him down. <laughs> if he if he didn't oh, have God. it, there <laughs> would be like insight checks to be made here. Like, do you want to make an insight check? You yeah. yeah. do not have it. People. I I trust you. You're totally taking it. <laughs> so, so who? But but if someone would have come into the tent, they can't get in this tent. Right. Unless she when lost we... it while we were in the oh. castle. That guy, the uh, um. That the motherfucker. Fish, the fish stepping the boot guy. No! Yeah, fish slapping <gasps> boot man. Fish slapping I trusted boot man. him. Not really. But Shouldn't enough to let him not hold my ever. hand. You went with him like into with the with the um the the pot thing. No. But the body thing came out. He took it. He fucking took it. That. Uh, okay. Well, we have to go back. Oh, I mean, we're already we, going. We back already are now. doing that. Okay. Going I know. Back. I know. <laughs> okay. So now our oh, yeah, list. Really our list of things. To. We really, we have, really have to go. Have to go. Growing exponentially. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Do what you think did, he what gave did the magic rod? Hmm. What did it do? Well, it was very effective against vampires. Oh. But wait oh. a minute. 
doesn't the sun sword like do the same thing? Huh? Doesn't the sun sword, I mean, meta wise, doesn't the sun sword do the same thing? Only single targets, though. Like, the, the wonderful thing about the amulet was that it affected every vampire uh -huh. in the room. Wasn't that because of the sunlight that it shone, though? And doesn't the sword do the no, same thing? No, it's the, the mm -hmm. hold vampire hold vampires. action. Mm -hmm. uh, which is all, it's a, it's a cleric, and also the turn undead holy feature mm -hmm. thing. I just hit undead things extra hard. If we, uh, does my detect love. magic go off? It does. Do I feel that presence of her amulet in this thing? Definitely not, I'm assuming. You do not. Don't. What's that? I click my fingers and the hut disappears. Our chances are dwindling. All right, we can we can recover though. We can we can go back and get the amulet. We know the way, and um, if what's his face Cyrus took the amulet, then he delivered it to Strahd, and Strahd would have that thing locked away. We were lucky enough to find it well, in the first could place. Could Strahd even touch it? Would. Well, that's a good point. Um, well, then someone else buries it for him. But it doesn't. I don't. He couldn't destroy it, right? Maris, can you locate the object with your magic? I could, Do you think yeah. that the, the fact that Within these items still feet. exist in Barovia make you think that, you know, probably um, if Strahd could destroy either the Sun Sword or the Holy Symbol, the fact you found it buried in a grave and everything, it, he probably would have already. I mean... We were requested to find the the three items in Barovia, right? The, I had three He's things. Destroyed it. Well, now we're down to one. Well, what what sort of Yay. animals live in the cage in 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 his castle? Bats. Probably wolves. Probably wolves. I'm going to character now. Sorry, that was really upsetting. So distraught, he's dropped his voice. That's right. I, sorry. I'm back now. <laughs> So we just uh, need to find one, and then I can ask them if the if the amulet's in the castle. Prepare that spell, Maris. We'll cast it when we get closer to the castle. I'm on well, it. We still have to go to the castle, though, yeah. That's where we're going. Yes. All right. All right. So everybody, settle up. Yay! What spell are you preparing, Maris? This feels a lot more dangerous than the last time. Yes. <laughs> Locate Locate. object. We keep getting worse at this. <laughs> Locate object. <laughs> All right. Gotcha. All righty. So, you guys make your way towards the castle again the giant gates of barovia swing open and you find yourselves after about two two and a half hours once again sitting below the looming spires of castle ravenloft Careful crossing the bridge, guys. Yeah, Cyber walks over to Maris. It's like, I've got you back. Thank the you. drawbridge <laughs> has withdrawn. Yeah. After your last entry, and it's now shut. Oh. Um. The way it shuts. Do we knock? We... I just start pelting things at the door. Why don't we know? How, how far is the good to me. Do we do we see Esmeralda or um well, Otto? Victor. Victor. Do we see Otto though? That's Victor. Surreal. Do we see how, how, Do we how, see how... Esmeralda or Victor? Make a perception check. Oh come on! Will somebody else? It's not obvious. I'll, but... I'll, I'll, where's I'll, Otto? I'll, I'll do it. I'll do a I'll perception. Do you don't want. Yeah, I'm gonna roll another twenty. Your, your true love Otto is back in the goddamn monastery. <laughs> He is my one true love. I can't remember who Otto you is. You have weird taste in men. 
His heart is so good. Is. Don't remember he had who the Otto best is. Voice. He he was one of the Bellevues. When of, he he's like Cyrus, it's, you know, like the sort of half man, half animal weird. Oh, Otto, like, Otto, the guy. Yeah, yeah, right, that guy. Yeah. All right, now I remember. Okay, <laughs> that's him. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. No, not the one. Not the one with the little guy in his in his uh in his no, shoulder. Was... Okay, the other one. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was Cloven. Thivor is watching this exchange with just like. You missed a lot of weird shit, Cyvor. It, Barris it makes eye contact and winks. Really, it's a lot to get me really excited, and the Bellevue family is just one of those things. No idea what's going on there. Fascinating. And I suppose, you know, no shame on anything. <laughs> like, we gotta... We're not here to yuck anyone's yums, okay? okay. We gotta, we... <laughs> I've never heard that before, and I That's love it That's so adorable. Much. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Yuck no. and yums is not our game. Mm -hmm. And I'm writing that down oh. in my notes. Not here to yuck anyone's yums. <laughs> yeah. But we are welcome. here oh, to God. yum some people's yucks. Uh -huh. Amen. Consensual. Whatever. <laughs> the last time we were here, we had a plan to go underneath. In the servants' did we? quarters, <laughs> we did. We we we, we did identify a low, low-placed entryway. Just a matter of getting to it without breaking our necks. DM, how far is the gap? Is the what? Uh, so the the chasm. The drawbridge. In the... How the length of the drawbridge? Yes. Is. Let me see. I bet Strad's fucking loving this. All right. I don't like him very much. He's not very nice to you. No, he's uh, not very nice and not the kind of person that you want to make friends with, Akanta. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. right. If you see him again, throw something at him. Hard. Can, can I? Okay, I will. Yes, Just for you. please. Thank you. I'll, I scoop her up into a log. <laughs> <laughs> Keep in mind, I'm three feet tall, so where's that rock going to go? <laughs> very good. <laughs> Try wow. him. Okay. She's a dead eye shot. She is. Right. Um, uh, did uh, Akanta see anything with her oops. seventeen? Um, no. As you survey from this side of the castle, you're not able to. Um, excuse me to see anything. Um, Damn it. Well, we could <sighs> climb down. We could uh, have Cyborg fly with a rope and climb over. That was my thought. I, was there uh, a way in? Was there a way in from like the chasm below? I thought we identified a low entryway, and I was about to ask DM where would that be height-wise relative to where we are now, or relative from the bottom. It is on the opposite side, about a thousand feet up, probably just about. Uh, 50 feet down or so from where you are right now, maybe closer to 80, maybe uh, between 50 and 100 feet down on the opposite side of the castle. So it's not low. No, it's, it's still just way low up relative on the to the top. Stone. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. I mean, we could always. Uh, just Waldo, one. you were in such good so, terms with him yesterday. How about you uh, call him up? Tell him to let us in. I don't think. Uh, 40 foot drawbridge, I was by the not way. My, I was not 40 myself, foot. Not right. myself yesterday. Oh, so. Mm. Good. You yourself now? More than I was yesterday. It only looks to be about. 40 Wait. Feet. Why don't you, you. go over, Cyvor, and open the drawbridge right. yourself? Oh! Oh, yeah! Well, do you think it's, it's probably magic? Well, you know what? I'll take a look. But before you <laughs> do. <laughs> before you do. Oh, I'll yeah, place, sorry, yeah. place my hand on his shoulder. Didn't oh, we didn't hear that, that Jade. Oh, now we can't hear Press you at all. Press the fucking button, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I really um, appreciate the moment. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why you're swearing at me. <laughs> he will say... Uh, Just getting real close to you. Yeah, he will say... Um, Tempest Raptica Invisibilia. And you will go invisible. <clears throat> 
I'm I'm invisible? We can't see you, Cyborg. Ah, this is so cool. Although I know where you were, so I could probably still hit you unless you move. Time you look ticking. So good. I'm not gonna hit you. I'm teasing. Okay, Just time's be careful. ticking. Don't hit anyone. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> As he's flying, I look over Jeswaldo. Like, you were under Strahd's influence for those several minutes down in the basement. Yes. Yeah. Why were you listening to me? Why was I listening to you? Yeah. You started doing that thing where you're like, yes, Claire, whatever you say, Claire. Oh, just being polite. That's fucking bullshit. You haven't done that since the Amber Temple. Mm. I thought I would change it up a bit. That mm. malicious compliance thing. You see how I'm right. staying so close to you? Yes, I do see that. Thank you. No problem. Maris definitely got your suspects. Back. Just well, even though it's like she feels like she she knows he didn't take it, she definitely is she's suspicious. Alright, so DM. Yeah. Uh, I fly up and over the wall if I'm able to do that. Uh-huh. You right. are. Lovely. And so I'm going to bring myself down about here into the courtyard. Okay. Uh, as I do that, do I see any sort of, like, I imagine I'm going to see the, like, is there a way into the guardhouse, uh, gatehouse? Yeah, there are two doors. There's a door on each side. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go to this door first. And uh, first I check to see if it's locked. It is locked. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and go over to this door and check to see if it's locked. He's they not carrying you. Locked. I know. But they could have been locked. Um, okay. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and fly back across, uh, up and over the wall and over, uh, back to the party. And I land and anyone with a keen enough perception will be able to see like the sort of the dust that kicks up when I drop. Uh, both of the gatehouses are locked. And, and uh, well, take me no over offense, there. Waldo, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I might be able to carry you across, but it's a, oh, it's a, it's a big. Well, here, we'll make it so that you don't drop me. And I take out a piece of rope and I wrap it around my arm and then I put it through my hand, and I hand him the other piece of rope, and then I hold out my hand. So we'll try it the old-fashioned way, but if you do drop me, I'll hold on to this. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, uh... Maris. Do you have yeah. one of those spells that, like, makes people better at things? <laughs> <laughs> this is what Claire... I'll, this is literally how Claire would ask Cocaine. that question. No, no, I, I It was 100% <laughs> okay. on point. Uh, I, I do have a spell that could help someone be better at things. I'm just thinking the last time that Cyber tried to um, carry just Waldo. Um, I mean, right, Cyber, you right, are a, right, right, a right, right, right. life dexterous individual, not so well endowed in the muscle area. No, no, I'm, I'm very wiry. Yeah, but I don't weigh that much. I mean. We did make it the last time. It I was, just kind of looked sideways uh, to Waldo <laughs> back there. Well, I mean, I could uh, cast, I could help you out, and I could cast Bless. That would be great. Great. So oh, Maris uh, will uh, cast. Um, oh, uh, oh uh, is it, uh, uh, do, do you not have guidance? Oh, wait. Yes, I do. <laughs> ha. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for keep. I mean, here's the thing. We're just gonna level with you guys. <laughs> I'm still learning as I go. So <laughs> and she's already level 30. You're so good. I know I'm incredible, no. but like, just like help me learn as I go. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I do actually have guidance. Thanks, friendos. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, so awesome. I'll cast that. Okay. Right. So Cyborg is going to attempt to fly Jeswaldo back across the gap. All right. Make an athletics check. Great. Okay. And you shoot. I, you said uh, just water thinks. Just water right? thinks. Um, th thinks light thoughts. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. Light as a feather, stiff as a board. 
There it is. There it is. Hi. Nice. Thirteen. And roll your four. And then the guidance, I get a four, yeah? D4, right? Mm-hmm. Hey! Yes. Hey, yep. 17! Good job. You ferry just Waldo across. That is what's D4. So fun! Nice job, Cyborg. Okay, that... Nobody died. That's great. All right, um... Which... Oh, so, and I put him down right there. And I go, okay. okay. Which door... Uh, both of them were locked. Just Waldo, I'm not... Oh, oh okay, you... You're doing a thing. Oh, hey, uh, you, did you touch these doors? Did I, I what? Did you touch them? I mean, I I checked the. They're locked. That I mean. Okay, yeah. fine. I will unlock the door on to the uh, south. Okay, make the check. Doom. Doom. You may unlock both of the doors. Uh, it will stand to the side. Cypher, stand back. As I'm going to open the door with my back against the wall so that when it opens, if there's anything that shoots out, it goes past me and not into me. Sure, uh, you do so. And you reveal the rooms um, are mostly empty. Nothing uh, happens as you open the door. Um, excuse me, I'll get some sound going here in a second. But uh, uh, there is the mechanism that clearly is what uh, lowers and raises the drawbridge housed okay. in these gatehouses. What's oh, the winch? No way! It is, in fact. It's not a winch, it's not a winch. <laughs> <laughs> ah, not a winch, I'm your wife! <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, did a dream once. Meanwhile, thanks to Snake Spinner, if, what? if you haven't got inspiration, you can roll for a D20 inspiration. Come on, I'm due, I am due. Damn it. I am due. Oh, thank God the DM I have one. Okay. Oh. Roll higher than me. Turn to us, you did it! Oh. Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Snake you're, Spinner. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you very, very much, much, Snake Spinner. Mm -hmm. Much appreciated. Wait, what? Very appreciated. <laughs> All right. Down, so Teresa wins it. There you go. He spins Yay. snakes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Snake Spinner. I'm just imagining spinning snakes like spinning a basketball. <laughs> Some reason. Spinning a bunch of acanthas. You spin just, them on there. And yeah, on just tail. like. Yeah, no, yeah. just like lasso. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, I imagine it was like like little snake whips. Where you're just like. Doo -doo 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 Who's to say? <laughs> I'm a weapon. Um, we we put the drawbridge down. Um. So when you go in and look at the winching mechanism, you see all the cranks that make sense, pulleys and such. You see all the gears, that is. But levers? No. There are no levers. There are no buttons. There are no handles anywhere. You see the mechanism, but no way to operate it in either gatehouse. Hmm. Well... I have a feeling this is more your bag than mine. Oh, oh yeah. Um, because of my years studying winches. Um, <laughs> I see what you did there. Well, we could just try to break. How how thick are the chains, DM? Um, they are very very sturdy chains. Um, probably. Um, you know, maybe eight to 12 inches in diameter on the link. So, mm. yeah. Hmm. All right. Maybe there's a button hidden or something or a lever. Oh, oh, do you have the, uh, the, uh, your secret pokey stick? Yeah, I do. <laughs> but I don't know that it will show a hidden button. Would show oh, a hidden it's... room or a hidden. Would it DM? Would it show a hidden button? <laughs> um, probably. It kind of, I would probably l lump that in with those. Yes, anything that a careful perception or investigation check would uncover that would otherwise be hidden. Let's kind of. look Can first. I... Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll 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 try to perceive if there's a way in which we could try to operate this that doesn't involve. All right, have a look. 
a I'm more careful a look. Look too. A uh, careful look indeed. A twenty-three for my careful look. Hey, I got the fifteen. Not too shabby. Yeah. yeah. Um, nothing that you can find. Shit. Crap. <laughs> um, it's like as if you stuck your head inside a car engine and go, "All right, where do I turn this on?" It's just like yeah, I it's no you giant know. on-off switch. I don't know. So what these no, are the mecha- these are the mechanisms that activate the drawbridge, but the button for activating them are, is clearly somewhere else. Yes. If such a button exists. But well, do you want to look a... around for the button while I try to figure out a way to get everybody else across? Well, it's got to have a power source, doesn't it? Wait, what if we just... Well, if do we you just remember, cut the do, chain... Do, do you remember when I threw the dagger at that Strahd thing and he disappeared and all of the torches went out and all of the doors closed and the portcullis came down and everything like that all happened at once right mm-hmm. i think that the power source is magic hmm? well oh that's which does not mean that there's not still a button somewhere we're just looking in the wrong place if it's magic do you think if we got alimus over here he could counterspell it and draw off the bridge down that way Maybe. I don't know. Or would it be worthwhile for us to try to cut the chains out of the drawbridge itself and then just have the drawbridge drop sans chains? That could also work. Um, you, how far fast would it drop? Pretty fast. How sturdy does it look? Maris broke it. Hmm. They're taking too long. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. Well. Okay. You look over there. I'll look over here. Um, does Akantha consent to me playing with her hair while I wait? Great. <laughs> Maris looks Seriously. on with jealousy in her eyes. You're, guys, if anybody else has any other ideas, shoot. I mean, we're gonna look around. Well, at boys. Alimus looks frustrated and just looks at where it should be, and then speaks the words. No, he doesn't. He speaks the words. Hercleum Sultan Morum. And creates a bridge of force. What? What the fuck? Cast Wall of Force. You can use it to do flat surface. That's a really powerful spell. That is hot shit. That's my fifth level gone though, guys. And then starts walking uh, over. Alright. How long is it? It's a rather personal question. (laughs) <laughs> wow! Wow! Well, I would, I would uh, calculate it first. So, yeah, uh, how long across is it? Never been measured. Forty foot drawbridge. Wink. Oh, easy. So you could uh, also angle it ten, up to get to the top if you want. But so a hundred feet. Ten ten foot by ten foot panels. Yeah, hundred feet. You could actually yeah. make a ramp to across up to the ramparts, basically. <laughs> Yeah. You were muted there, Sean. Yeah. You but... could make a slide for the last part. Wee! Yeah. <laughs> it's like roller coaster tycoon. But... Well, the walls are about sixty foot high, so you don't have a ton of room. So. Yeah. yeah. I don't want anything we do to be uh, like roller coaster tycoon. <laughs> so Not even everyone just walking around, throwing up everywhere. Yeah. I'll just. Walt <laughs> already did that this session. Side, side yeah. Last can, thing about can, can roller you do coaster that? tycoon. As we watch the group slowly walking across, you can see him yep. walking on air. Huh. Walking on sunshine. <laughs> it's coming, folks. Chorus of Strahd. Yeah. Yep. God. Yeah. It'll be a thing. <laughs> and then it's de-spelled. Just kidding. <laughs> there Last it time is. On bleed. Can't, can't dispel. Anyway. <laughs> it can't be dispelled. You can't dispel uh, uh, Wall of Force. Okay. Oh, thank God. Because oh. we're all standing on it. <laughs> it can't be dispelled by dispel magic, but you can disintegrate it. Yeah, that's nasty. Wait, so does the wall just stay there? For 10 minutes. Oh, concentration for up to 10 minutes. Okay. Right. I was like, do, do we just get like a bridge forever? No. All right. So Cyborg is going to attempt to like fly up 
and then as he does that, he sees people just walking across the gap, and he's like, <laughs> "Huh, uh, that uh, takes care of that." And they solved the 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 invisibility stops. The, by the way, I really, really wish I could do magic. So oh. cool, right? I mean, it's 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 kind of nice, but y you can do a thing. So you all can walk up now to the walls. I've already placed Casimir here. But... Excellent. Well, now what? Now we is the, the way that we went in, I assume, is closed? The way. The doors are shut, shut at the moment, but yeah. Um, well... I mean, we could take a stroll along the walls. We, I mean, that. How tall is this battlement? About 60 feet. Because it connects up, right? Um, this whole thing yeah. goes over yeah, there. Okay. Sorry, it would weird. actually be. Let's see, just a sec. 90 feet. Yeah. Well, and we also know that from the pathway that we took, we were on the outside of the exterior of the castle, and then when we went down. So, um, by all rights, we should be able to get into the castle just by walking around the wall. Well, I was just thinking that, that if those battlements are they're accessible, there must be a way to the top of them. If we can get on top of the battlement, we might be able to get inside the wall that way. Well, we just... Follow. So, what if we, yeah, walk around this way? I point yeah. off um, towards the far wall and whatever this business is. Um, and that'll get us closer to the top. Cyber can fly up, drop a rope down for us, and then we'll, or he can fly up and see if there's anything up there, a trapdoor maybe, and then... Yeah. Work. DM, I, I checked the map real quick that we have of the exterior. It, like, it looks like it would connect in, yeah? And as, as we're kind of walking around? Um, yes. Um, and you would have seen this... You would know from your study. Um, so I'm, I'm going to reveal a bit more of the map of the exterior of Ravenloft. Uh, just be aware that as I do this, it doesn't necessarily mean that nothing is there. It's just what you would know from your study and um, ridiculous right. uh, check spending time mapping. That is the opposite of what I wanted to do. Yeah. Um, so this is kind of what the top looks like here. Absolutely. Cool, cool. Are these buttresses? <laughs> my flying. favorite architectural word <laughs> flying buttresses my other favorite flying architectural word check out this book the buttress of windsor <laughs> one of my favorites yeah all right that must be that one green book that joe's waldo read yeah <laughs> the only book he ever read loved it real page turner all right so that is what you see Whoa, okay, DM. Or that's what? the... Yeah. I would love to know what this business is. <laughs> that is nothing. But, but, like, what is this tower in relation to this tower? Because this... So this is just, this is just a, like, a flavor lighting effect. But, um, the... So, this is the tallest tower. Okay. Which is... Um, approximately... I forgot what I said. I think it's... 300 feet 360 feet you think to the pinnacle here where I where I'm pinging here and then there is a tower here standing at its side not quite as high but um about uh you think 260 feet next highest is going to be this one which is at about 190, 100 feet above where you stand right now. Does that make sense? Here. Let me look at Zoom. Is there a... By looking at the map, did we, we have discussed this several times now. Was there a way in that is lower down? Because if what we're trying to do is get to the lower areas... Yes. To continue on what we were doing... Off the back side of the entire castle... Mm -hmm. so somewhere around here around here but about a hundred feet down 
I think that's what we should go for because otherwise we have to go through the whole castle yeah, to get down to the uh, tombs. But well, how well, do we get down? Like, with, I mean, I suppose we could walk to that side of the castle and have Cyber fly around and see if yeah. there's anything accessible. Want to try yeah. that? Are we just yes, going to take a walk on the battlements? Yeah, why don't we, we do take that. great yeah. a visit to go and see our friend as well? Ah. Visit to go see our friend? Yes, the one that maybe stole the pendant. Mm. Oh, right. Cyrus. I gotta talk to him. Definitely. Um, can I go stealthily on this DM? Uh, like Scott ahead? Yeah. Well, I'm invisible, so... No, you're not. Not anymore. No. He had to concentrate on the wall of force. To... Keep telling Eight. yourself that, Sarah. Hi, Sorry. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, awesome. I will stealth if I can. Be aware that you can. Um, the best you can probably do is keep yourself invisible from maybe something on the mid to lower levels here. Even someone as good as you, if someone were on the very top of one of these towers, um, there is almost no cover. It is flat stone and crenellations. So you can hug the end. It will probably do it. But just, just so you know, this is like, Probably your worst nightmare is trying to stay hidden. Um, you know what I mean? Well, what if let's try anyway? I don't know. Stride probably already knows what you're. Oof. 15. Well, you get, you guys can see if Swallow goes off. Uh, what ray are you going? Um, I think just around right here, right? Kind of along the walls. Yep. Yeah. As you go, you yeah. can, some of you, if you guys have the appropriate. Um, if you have a passive perception above 15, you can yep. see his head just slowly going between the crenellations. Yeah, I do. We follow about 50 feet behind. Then. Yeah, I'm just following. <laughs> oh, okay. I forgot. The, I promised to clear. Oh, well, she'll forgive me. It's fairly quiet at the moment. You don't see anything. No movement high on the towers, anything like that. Constable, what are you currently? So, are you? There's six uh, all about right. Her. Well, I will go is, go until you tell me to stop, DM. Okay. Continue on. We're at the come to here. I'm going to look down into this courtyard. Okay. You do see a cloaked figure standing here, standing on the edge of the balcony. Looking outward. Uh, I have a question, DM. As I'm rounding the corner of these battlements here, um, how familiar does that balcony look? Because I dreamed about a balcony. I'm curious if it's the same one. That was a long time ago. It's okay if you're not sure. <laughs> it looks... You have... Sort of this vivid recollection of Maris throwing herself off that balcony. Um, 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 um. I stop when I see this, and I wait for Claire to catch up to me. Okay. Claire? Remind me what that card reading was again? Yep, <laughs> yep. On a balcony. <laughs> What do we do? Remind me. As she pulls out the notes. <laughs> um, the card that will lead us. You're muted. The, sorry. The card that would lead us to an enemy beyond mortality was the executioner and showed us a dark figure on a balcony. Does it look like that? It's a, it was just a, a reading. That was what you were told by Madame Eva weeks ago. Does it look like Victor or Esmeralda? Because the DM likes to do that shit. <sighs> Make a perception check. 
Passive 17. No one snuck up on you, but to actively Oh my god, I actually rolled okay. <laughs> it would need to roll. I rolled a 16. Oh, yeah, I was with us? Well, with a 16 is enough to know, looking at the, um, the billowing rich fabric of the cloak, the oh. stately clothes, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the hair tossing in the wind slowly. This, though he has not regarded you yet, this does seem to be the figure of Strad von Sarovich. That's not good. We're not going to, like, I mean... It seemed like a good idea yesterday, but I, I really think to fight that we, him? we should leave this guy alone. This guy sucks. We shouldn't fight him. He sucks. I, mean, I... I think we should respect him. He knows we're here. Well, yes, yeah, there's no I'm way sure he, he doesn't does, know. But... I wonder if he's going to deign to turn around and acknowledge our existence. Nope, didn't think so. Um, I mean, Cyber, you could just fly off the side and see. I'm pretty sure if we do anything that is going to annoy him, he's going to take umbrage. Maybe we should uh, go back and try. We've done a lot that he would take umbrage to. Remember the whole exploding lake thing? You should leave him alone. I mean, he's not uh, doing anything. He's just standing there. Yeah. Like a cheeky little bastard. So, what's the plan? For the record, I made no effort to be extra quiet when I said that. Although I wasn't shouting it to the ramparts. Well, it sounds like the plan is to find a different way into the castle. So I suppose we could go back to the... Where do we think the door. other... Where do we think the other way in is? Well, we were just earlier discussing a trap door on a, a higher portion of the ramparts. Right, but where, where... I mean, from where we are right now, could we get down into the courtyard? If we had a rope and all that? You could get into the courtyard. You think that the... Um, where you are, this is actually a beautiful expansive balcony um all of this the, what the entry you were looking for i think was about right here and 100 feet down is there stairs going down i mean obviously there's got to be stairs somewhere in this place um not on the exterior that you see so how would people usually get up here is there like hatches to go down um, there are, you see one, a hatch here and here. There are, there is also a door, I believe, right here. Isn't right there a here. chapel? Yeah, mm -hmm. that would be right here. You see these are beautifully um, decorated windows here. Oh, and um, as I seem to recall, um, you know, just of interest, you know, things that happened at Ravenloft. I'm pretty sure that this is where Tatiana killed herself. Great. I wonder why. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Ah. DM, yeah. what is what is this sort of uh, stone bridge that kind of goes between the ramparts and the... Uh... Portcullis, I believe. There is a portcullis standing right here. It is just more a wall, but this is only about 30 feet high, separating this... All right, I say we use okay. a rope to go down onto that, and then from there we go down into the courtyard and we search for that entrance that is on Tybar's map. Very good. And That's so the courtyard. Below, so this it? is nine. So sorry, the courtyard right here mm -hmm. is ninety feet below you. A mm -hmm. hundred feet below that, on the cliff face, is the entrance that he identified. Ah. But I I thought we I said that we could get downstairs via the chapel also. Yeah, that was something that we were talking about. All right, well, let's do that. Um, so rope to here, 
and we all go there and then rope to here we all go there and we look for a door into the chapel sounds good I know there is one because Strahd talked about how Tatiana ran from but the chapel off good call. the balcony mm. okay See, we do even that. though that book is gone I remembered a lot of it by which I mean I wrote down a lot of it <laughs> okay so down to the courtyard hmm yeah all right um, tiny do you bears, have tiny. enough rope? Uh, <laughs> do you have enough rope? I've got 30 feet. I've got 30. I don't I can, have any. I have got, 50. I have 50 feet. Excuse me. I have 50. Okay. 250 feet so is, is going to be well enough. Well, so from the parapet down to the uh, the porculus wall is 40 feet? Um, Six. yes. Okay. Yeah. And then, okay. It's a sub wall here, but I yeah. mean, that's, it, you have enough rope to get all the way down to the, um, courtyard anyway. Yeah, oh, we'll okay. Just do that. Well, I have yeah. no idea. Which side? That side, it looks like. Yes. Right, so I, I take a kantha and I just set her down onto the ground. All right. So you make your way out, so slide kind of down. And I fly back up and see if Maris needs help getting down. Looks like everyone's okay. Cyber right. has see... earned himself the eternal role of spotter. <laughs> In this life so, and the others. Right. How to get into this chapel? Doors. There was an entrance here. DM? Though, yeah. DM? Nice. There is an entrance here. That is the servant's entrance. There are tall stained glass windows here. Um, let me check about the actual door. Um, there's a lot in this place, as you might imagine. It's okay, Peter. <laughs> Take your time. There are... Um, if you want to change your plan accordingly, the there are stained glass windows leading into this chapel, but they are a bit higher up. And in fact, most of them coincide with being about the same level as this sub wall that leads mm. to. You said there was a servant's door, though? Over here. Is ah. this portcullis open? Um, it is not. Okay, so up and down, up and down. I, will... I suppose. It's okay. That will break a window. Yeah. It turned into a bird and help. Is he still just standing there? All brooding. Like a big old emo dick. <laughs> he is seems to be standing there looking down I just so, keep an eye on him while everyone else gets up the wall okay there is this where I throw something at him no no no, <laughs> no, no. so are you guys scaling another wall and then scaling back down here or doing yes. something with the portcullis or what's the plan okay portcullis, my up, and down, up and down up and down you will be able to. You won't meet any resistance. I don't like that he's just standing there. And moving over here, there is indeed a servant's door leading into the keep. It seems unused, at least in quite some time. The wood is a bit swollen and it has iron bands reinforcing it. Um, even if it were locked or unlocked, it would likely require you to break it open. Wand of Secrets. Okay. You set it off, and you do not reveal anything. All right. I will uh, attempt to open this door. Okay. It is stuck shut. Again, the wood is swollen out. It is, whether it is locked or not, regardless, you think the latch is not a factor. It is just stuck. Hinges rusted. The wood swollen to almost... Um, Here, I've... Uh, uh... 
Um, you will likely have to break it open. Or you can through. do what Claire did this yesterday. What, you want me to lightsaber this shit again? Oh, I mean, I've also got a crowbar and a hammer. We could just... Oh, lightsaber, or, or it's wood, you, yeah, do the thing. I'll bust it down. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, you, you do the thing, okay. Well, Cyber, I would not, uh, you know, ask you to go away. Just I could always use them out busting things down. Of course. It just, it's way cooler when you do it. To each their own. I could, I could never punch things as hard as you. Don't worry. Yeah. It took a lot of training. This, I, 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 I raise a, gla a gauntleted fist. I'm like, this looks impressive. It's not really that impressive. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta think uh, uh, shoulder to face. Mm -hmm. Are we opening this door or what? Yeah, I'm sorry. Cyber sorry. and I will bust it down. All right, so make a strength check with advantage, whoever wants to. What's your strength? <laughs> I will take the strength check. <laughs> okay. Cheap. That's what I want. Oh no, there's a turn order thing on the board. <laughs> That's an accident. Oh, okay. One d four. Twenty. Aha! It <laughs> crashes open. You guys find yourselves. Rolling. I give Cyborg a fist bump. Rolled an initiative. Cyborg, fist bump. <laughs> you have just broken through. A curtain. Here, I'm pulling you right now and revealing some areas. Here's Cyborg. Just the wall high up. You have just broken open this door. Revealing a staircase down. And right here you see a dust caked room. Um, there's a large heavy table in the center. A thick book lies open on the desk with an inkwell and quill next to it. There's a broken door in the north wall and a staircase in the south wall plunging into darkness. On each side of the staircase, a skeletal figure draped in gleaming chain mail stands sagging at attention, holding a rusty halberd. Oh. I draw my uh, moon blade to cast some light. Okay. Draw my Jeswaldo, can you mm. not be super tall? Yes. <laughs> Jeswaldo is showing uh, his ego size. That's the we're missing people. Mm, my I ego see. is enormous. <laughs> <laughs> we're missing two others. Oh yeah, we need uh, Akantha and... What was that, that woman that called you at the yes. beginning of the campaign? Oh, this Might be Gok. <laughs> what ever happened to her? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day the tables will be turned. Everyone coming oh. in at different sizes. Yes. I've always been, I've been coming in larger the last like few weeks, um, yeah. which is Peter, fun. can you, can you shrink my cut gun down? Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah. Where is the what is the move for the group right now? Cyber's gonna um, move to the table and check out the book. I approve. I approve this message. Where's Mar Maris? Huh? I'm yeah, all paladin. There we go. Maris is tiny. Gotcha. Too small. Um, the book is quite weathered. It's brittle. Um, the there is a list of names up and down on each page. But at the top of each page, as you look through, is a single message. Please register for your own convenience and that of your next of kin. Who's the last entry? Me? I don't like that. Who's the so, last entry? My check. So, yeah, yeah, the most. Oh, I see Jeswaldo's writing his name in. Jeswaldo. Ooh, not the whole name. Seems right below that necessary. No, right. is written the name, or right above that now, is written the name Marie Onette. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh no. What about above that? Who's who's Marionette? My sister. Alimus's sister. Alimus? I'm so sorry. She traveled with us for a time. She can take care well, of then herself. I, it, it proves that she's here. It, so oh, we know she's here. He told us. Well, it's confirmed. Well, down? Or north? I mean, the door's practically hanging off its hinge. It oh, is. We and it's a strange in. door, there, or a strange room. There's a staircase leading up as well. So, we want to go down, right? Down. Okay. So, down. Yeah, we'll go down the stairs. Okay. Let me uh, go on ahead. I'm ten feet behind you. How do we feel about these two skeletons here? I take out my sword and I sort of lift the visor of one. You see an empty glare in an eyeless skull. A bit of dust falls down. Peter, can I, uh, DM, can I search the desk? See if there's anything. It is just a table. There is oh, table. No, no drawers or anything. There's a f the inkwell is fresh, but the book seems dusty and old. It's a good table. Solid oak. Down I go, and I will stealth ahead if I may. Okay. You descend down. Don't Would, get hang on, don't again. go ahead of the group. Ugh, he's going to get attacked by a vampire again. 25. Okay. You feel quite stealthy. Ha ha. <laughs> ha ha. As you move on down, there's a... This dark passage runs about 20 feet, connecting an archway to the west with an ascending stone staircase, which you are now descending. To the north and south are four 10-foot square alcoves cluttered with rotting cog cots, excuse me, and dirty rags. The ceilings here are covered with yellow lichen. Moving um, beyond, you see there is a door here and here. What's this? Uh, sorry, what are you pinging? I'm pinging this mess over here. Oh, mm -hmm. Bones? Yes. Um, it is a... Oh god, why did I know that? Mostly scattered, <laughs> destroyed furniture, broken bones, and crushed pieces of armor. Does feel safe to go forage as well, then? Um, well, first I need the DM to make me little again. Yeah, I did it. Oh, you did it, okay. Um, as I get to the bottom of these stairs, I'm going to use the Wand of Secrets. What's the range? I will let you know. Five million. 30 <laughs> feet. <laughs> um, you do not, not on the map. detect anything. Maris. All right. How about this lichen? How do we feel about it? Liz, get your tiny ass on the map. Liz, get on the map. Didn't we try to identify the lichen? It was just kind of a moldy... Akanda. It's just moss. Akanda. Let me do it. What? There what? she is. What is that? <laughs> Why is she so tiny? <laughs> what? What? What is what? What the? the, 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 the look! 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 And quietly, be quiet. Look up there. What is it? Dm. Dm. What? 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 What is that? Make a naked ch nature check. A naked check. Oh, that's sure, that kind of show. Oh, okay. I mean, Maris, how about you like do a thing to make her better I mean, at it? It's a druid, you know. <laughs> Druids are off her guidance. Guidance, yay! Nah, Look you're it. getting it. Just guidance. Spam, just spam that. I was gonna say I go and take a look Man. as well. Guidance gives me what? That's just a like four. Yeah. A D four. What is it? Oh. There's no point rolling it now. Yeah. No. What can is I, it? Can I have a look at it? It's just, uh, you know, it's just, yeah, sure you can. It's just mold, like you see on logs and other stuff that's rotting and moldy. All right, okay. Great. The Thank line is that checks out to you. 
<laughs> Wait here. I'm going to go check and see um, if that door <laughs> to the south is openable. And I step into the room. Be careful of the mold. It could be a killer. You seem smirk. still stealthing. Yes, please. May I? Do you need me to roll again? You, no, you do not need okay. to. Okay. I see strange claw marks on this graphic, DM. Is that meant to be something I should see? It looks like lots of things have been shifted around. And I would like to look at the ceiling above the wreckage that you said was crushed armor and such. Okay. Um, it is a uh, normal um, ceiling. It's tough to say what happened in this room. Like you, like you said, there is a pile of armor, bones and such, and then furniture all piled together over here. Um, like everything was shifted over to that side and perhaps some armored people died there. Besides that, it's hard did, to say. What did it look, does the armor look like it might have been hit, in, by, hit by a giant elevator <clears throat> coming down? No, it's not crushed. Okay. It seems to be signs of battle. I've been able to see battle, that one but coming. But all of, all of it's in that one corner yep are you so checking this door and this door or i mean sorry checking this door you said yeah i will check that door all right it does not appear to be trapped or locked didn't even have to roll mm -hmm. okay is there anything to hold on to not really the room is pretty bare. All right, before I open this door, I have I, I feel like there might be a clue. I'm going to go along the edge of the room and I'm going to begin to very carefully sift through this rubble. Yeah. I keep an eye on him. <laughs> is it a what, what are you trying to determine? Just looking through the I have a bad feeling. I want to just look, see what might be found. I am um, does this look like people just piled stuff in here and they just left it, or was it? Make an investigation a, as a check. result of a, like a, a you know a large wind yeah. or something like that. Sure. Is this gonna suck too? Yep. Dos. Mm. You're not sure. It would be a mighty wind indeed to do this. All right. Well, uh, probably nothing. I go back to the door and I open it. Okay. You reveal. A hall of furniture made entirely of bones. Not again. And you guys are. We can't go anywhere. On hey, we can find that guy. Footing. We can find that guy. We're back. Let's go. We can. Find Hot shit. All right, I follow just Waldo. Thirty. So I get to there. Hey. Hey. I did it. The yes, skull of the dragon still looms above these doors, which are still open as we can well. Just grab it and do the green gem thing and back to Valaki. Would a green Our gem still be Yeah, there? Maris is looking for that punk. She's going to take back her friggin' amulet. Diver pockets a few more bones. <laughs> yeah, we walk into <laughs> that room looking for him. Mm hmm. All right. I got needs. And, um, as expected, sitting in there is the form of Cyrus Bellevue, who looks over his shoulder, um, frightened. Ow! Hey! You're back! Cyrus? Oh, yes. I think you have something. something of mine. Come here, please. What? Where are we when this conversation is happening? Sorry, it's not clear. He was in here. Okay, so... so okay. okay. Should we just all go there? Yeah. Trouble we'll finding his token, but um, he is he is no. there, so... We may just use a generic token for him. I'll say, you know what? And I need a DC-17, we'll say. Oh, all right. We have a 16, actually, as a result, but he still fails. Where is our amulet? Huh? Who 
took something from he me. He is incapacitated by you at this point. Um, a, any social checks will have advantage. Um, it's not. Oh, I'm He is not charmed by. Oh, a lot. He didn't charm him. Oh, he sorry, I misunderstood. Incapacitated by Alimus. I thought we oh. decided that it was more like an enchantment thing. It is, but it gives you advantage on a. Um, um, I, I decided it could give you advantage on a social check, okay. because it's you know it specifically does not charm yeah. um, a creature, and you have unlimited uses of it in your feature. So, I suggest you tell us where our item is. Go ahead and make a persuasion check. Uh, 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 I get advantage, yeah? Mm hmm. Oh, double six is 12. All right. Uh, I'm going to lose a lucky point. All right. Does, that, that only does one roll, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll roll one more. Mm hmm. Oh my god, what's the odds of that? Oh, oh my god! Wow. Not three very good. Three twelves. He rolled three sixes. There's a sign. Um, <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> um, I don't let him answer. He just I looks just at you. Drown him hey. in a pot. Really? No. Okay. I don't don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Can I step up and grab I him see, by uh, whatever cut? counts for like scruff of neck yeah like yeah. and just get up in his face and say if you do not tell us where the amulet is i will personally see to your end and i would like to intimidate him mm. yeah. ah, ah. go ahead and make the check he is panicking now uh, nine you know throw something at you maris wants 21 to talk to him <laughs> okay i'll ah i i'll I'll take you to it. Right to it. Yeah. Why don't you go get it? Tell us where it is. Uh, yeah, I'll go get it. That's even better. No, tell us where it is first. I can. Before you go anywhere. It's upstairs. Where upstairs? Is up in, in the, the sleeping, sleeping quarters. Yes, of course. Of course yeah. Why'd you take it? I thought we were friends. You didn't eat my. St no, I, I, I uh -uh, because no, I, I had uh -uh. to. Okay, why would you have to? I was, to? I was, I, I, I wasn't myself. Okay. So I was being threatened. <laughs> okay, you know I'm willing to forgive it if you literally never ever betray us again, and also don't tell Strahd we're here. Deal. Great. I'm, great. <laughs> I'm so done I can go with now? deals. No. We now. need our stuff. You sir. need to get us the amulet back. It is mine. I don't I don't have it. Get Where'd you put it? it back. Don't I I don't know. L look at me. How could I take the damn amulet off of you? I don't have take it. Take off your clothes. What? But, uh, no. Hey, come on. Panache. Panache. We're all friends here. Uh, also, you said you took it. You I can't have, just keep I would have everybody sword. else turn around, and you and I will just have a conversation where you're not wearing your clothes. I'll okay, I'll role. show you. I'll. <laughs> Should we okay. do the roll? Okay. Do the roll? Okay. Um. Uh, he has a wisdom. Uh, his insight. Yeah. Insight, yeah, it's four. Okay. <laughs> Do you even need a roll? Uh, uh, I rolled a 23. <laughs> All right, so they're going to turn around. Yeah, everyone, please. I mean, <laughs> Cyborg steps out into the hall. He's oh. like, I don't want <sighs> Yeah, I stepping out of the room. And I, you can hear crosses him. her arms, Say, and rolls he, her he eyes, and turns her. I. Uh, he, like, starts to take off his pack. And, oh, uh, uh, yeah, um, may I? Take a look in your bag. Uh, and he's okay. Just oh, thank you. I, you know, only something your very close friends can see. I will look in his pack. I'm looking for keys. I'm looking for. Uh, he gems. has a key hanging around his neck. Oh well, I'll just take that. But no, no, I with with a sleight of hand check. I think. 
Can I have advantage since she's busy doing other stuff? <laughs> um, he is sort of messing with his clothes. It would be um, to lift something up from around his neck would have to pass it in front of his eyes. I'll cut it with a knife. Yeah, okay. do it. It was on a rope, so go ahead, make the check. 22. All right. He does not notice. And as he is sort of... um. <laughs> He's becoming visibly more and more distressed. <laughs> Do I see the as he's beginning to? <laughs> no, okay. you don't. I'm distressed. He's becoming more visible as he's is um, <laughs> taking off his clothes. Um, Does he have the um, sort of hybrid nature of his body becoming more and more apparent? Aww. Oh yes, yeah, Cyvor, you are not with us at the Abbey of Markovia. So he. It, you said he had a pack. In There's a pack, whole there family anything? of creatures like um, this. Bobbles. He's got some bones in there. You a see um, different empty bottles. One that this has kind just a of touch. Different. One that has just a touch of wine at the bottom of it. Um, some old scraps of moldy food. That's about it. So uh, while we're friends for these few seconds, you can tell me. Do you have the amulet? No. Shit. He's, there's no way he could lie to that. He did, he's just, he's oblivious. Did you not, tell? Do you, do you have it on your person? Not, do you have it? Do you know where it is? I guess would be the better question. I. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, I don't. You can put your clothes back on. Okay. Oh God. And he begins to re-robe. He doesn't have it. Then he dies. What? Uh, uh. <laughs> Make an attack roll. See if he does have a bit Jesse! of health. Well, I'm so glad I'm out in the hall. That just happened. I know. I'm like, I'm out in the hall. Uh, you believe he has 26? I believe it. I believe it. Go ahead and roll another d20, says Waldo. Okay. Come on. There we go. Come on. Nine. <laughs> He's not expecting that, um, and the um, the blade does pierce through his neck, but you have not done enough damage to kill him, and he falls to his knees. <sighs> Unless anyone stops him, you will come in at an initiative above him, and you can finish him off. It's up to the party members. No, no, wait, wait. no don't do that. Why are you doing this? Maris wants to save him. Then do it. Maris yeah. will cast Cure Wounds. Okay, in that case, we'll have to roll another initiative. So, Jeswaldo, what's your modifier for initiative? Uh, plus 10. All right, so if you can roll a 19, you can save him on initiative. Same with Akanta. Gonna try. Um, I want to try to come in and grab Jeswaldo's um, oh! weapon hand. Oh! Oh, use my deep, my, Go ahead, use my roll, a, roll initiative. See if you can get there quick enough. My inspiration's a D6, right? Oh, no. It looks like he was meant to perish in this moment. <laughs> the dice tell a story. Dice the tell story a story. They tell is... story. And just Dude. while Cyrus is you, dead. as you draw your blade videos. back, it, it cuts a much larger canyon where his throat once was. Oh, no, no, no. And you see that magical rape you're cutting back away gives him a slit almost back to his... Um, um, uh, to his spine and you see the head kind of <laughs> loll backwards and snap and drop into the boiling liquid that he had been preparing for his supper and you think no! maybe you see a few knuckles of the barely living undead flesh bring his head back for their own consumption beneath the boiling green ichor don't, hmm. don't like to cry I and that is where we end. And on that note. <laughs>
session. Oh my god. Well, shit. <laughs>